Uh, well, my uh, transition graphic once again glitched out, so I'm, uh, yay. But anyway, we are good to go. So I'm, uh, Ghost, just go ahead and just start spouting some random nonsense so we can get your mic up to par. Spouting some random nonsense. That's what I do best a good 50 to 60 to 70% of the time, honestly. I really nice. don't know what I say, so <laughs> hope that's all right. <laughs> all right. But show well, everybody. Yeah, hope everyone's having an amazing Sunday, and also uh, for those of you, for those of us who are fans of it. Ah, crap! Uh, hold on, I need to. I forgot to do one. Th I forgot to do one, another thing. I forgot to turn off the ads. Let's see, guys. Turn off. Let's see, turn that off for the stream, and there we go. Also, um, uh, for the for, for uh, those of us that are um, well, for those of you that watch American football, uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday! That's why we're doing this a little bit early, so those of you, so those of you that are going to watch the Super Bowl can enjoy the Super Bowl without worrying I about guess. us. Are you excited for the Super Bowl or? I don't watch football. <laughs> yeah, I fell off of sports a couple years ago. I used to be like big into it, and then I lost interest. I I guess Pokemon took over. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. So, uh, Mods, uh, can you let me know if uh, Ghost sounds good? If so, uh, we can uh, get this rolling so we can get to, get to, get, get to rolling. Hello, Shalopes. Hope everybody's having a great day. I'm out here talking, testing, sounding. <laughs> all right. All right, looks like... Uh, all right, Radiant says you're good, so I trust his words, so... Awesome. Radiant, Shalopes, how are you? All right. Well, you ready to start? I I think so, man. I'm super nervous. I'm sweating over here. Hopefully it's not on camera. <laughs> Don't be sweating. We're just nerds here. Come on. All right. <laughs> all well, right. that's I feel like nerds sweat too, man. I feel like we're always well, 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 yes, we always sweat, but we don't need to sweat for this. This is just us sitting down talking shop about Pokemon. Come on, man. All right. You're right. You're valid. <laughs> valid there. I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Yes, I'm ready. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all the fellow Pokey Nerds of the world, welcome to the Pokey Nerds Incorporated Podcast, a Pokemon exclusive podcast just for us Pokey Nerds to sit down, relax, and get to know fe other fellow Pokemon content creators in the Pokemon community. I am your host, the Top Goon Spence of the Pokey Network. And, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not know the man to my, um, let's see, let's see, it's my left. Side. <laughs> all right so if you guys don't know the man to my left uh right on the screen but um uh, anyway guys if you don't know this man allow me to introduce you to him he is um for the first time in poke nerds inc history we have a man oh we have a person who is exclusively a challenge run slash nuzlocker on screen does a little bit shiny hunting on the side but not on screen but anyway this guy's got some rain random ass crazy ass challenges i've seen and also some of the most unique challenges i've seen on uh, twitch today so ladies and gentlemen please welcome our friend mostly ghostly gamers what's going on y'all big shellos to you my name is ghost ghostly is fine too it is a pleasure to be here i was super excited for for spence to hit me up and be like hey man i got something for you and i was like <gasps> i'm in there like swimwear let's do it <laughs> in there like swimwear i like that so yeah, um, first off, again, Ghost, I just want to thank you again for uh, not only taking the time out of your day to do this, but also accepting uh, accepting the uh, the invite because um, well, um, this this is it's it's like a catch twenty two situation. I have a list of I already had a full list of people that I I had for the season, but then I had to go into my season four and five recruitment list and look at the people that I want to invite because I was I plan to invite a lot more nerds to this, and Ghost was one of them. So I contacted Ghost. He was up for the challenge. So here we are. Heck yeah, man! It was I, I, honestly I was like super honored. I, I I didn't even know that I was up for for if, like future content down the line. So I mean, better now than later, in my opinion, I guess. So I'm super excited about it, man. Thank you for having me. I really I, I'm really excited to be here. As nervous as I am, I I thank you. I really appreciate it. Hey, the honor's all mine. As I always say, no, no matter what guest it is, I always say the honor's all mine. Well, <laughs> I'm honored. Thank you. All right. Hope you're doing great today, my man. I hope you're doing good yourself. Heck yeah. All right. So let's just go ahead and get down the brass tacks. So first thing uh, I like the guests to do and myself is to give yourselves a well to give ourselves a basic intro to introduce ourselves, uh, explain the types of content we produce, and just a retrospective of our Twitch journeys, where you started, what got you into it, where you are now. So just Ghost, 
you're in the hot seat. You got the floor, so talk away. Sure, man. Um, well, uh, where to begin? I guess we all can I guess what, what what is one's journey on Twitch? Because I feel like we all start like, hey, we need we need something in our life, right? Like we need some connection. And I I'm actually like a real lone wolf, um, on on my own. I I'm actually very socially awkward, and I I, I don't really know how to. <laughs> you, yeah, I mean, like, we get it, right? Like, I feel like this is, what, like, what Twitch is all about. And I actually started, like, watching, like, a lot of, like, more YouTube content. And I was just like, dude, I would love to do this. I think I could do something that's that's fun, exciting, bring a, bring a, bring a big light to people. And I needed, I needed also, like, a, a, so, a type of hobby that... That, that felt fulfilling, because uh, you could obviously pick up a, a crappy hobby, but Twitch, I feel like, is something that, um, for, like, streamers who, who want to take it seriously and stuff, like, it's, it, it, it's, it's that thing, you know? And I decided to stream Pokemon content, and, because Pokemon is, is, like, my niche, it's my childhood. I remember waking up, like, every Sunday, or Saturday morning, and just watching, like, WB Kids. They'd have Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon on, and I was like, yo, that is, that is the jam right there. And uh, yeah, just kind of started streaming, and it's it's been really it's been really fun doing all bunch of challenges. And I don't even I don't even know what like really got me into doing the challenges. I think it was like Purple Cliff. I don't know if you know him on YouTube, but uh, I know pretty much all the big Pokemon names. Yeah, yeah. So Purple Cliff, uh, he did a, a Nuzlocke of like you laugh, you lose a Pokemon. And I was like. I don't want to do that specifically, but I want to do something like that. So, well, I think he still does that series from time to time. Yeah, he does, and it's it's still it's still a kicking series, man. So I, I I don't know. I just wanted to try to at least follow suit and like big people like Evan J T V inspire me. Pokemon Seven. Yes. <laughs> you know, you know the gang. Uh, it's a shame that they don't make content anymore, but you know it is what it is. People grow, and that's. What do you mean they don't make content? What do you mean they don't make content? No, no, no. no I, mean... Like together, they're like to, oh, yeah, they, yeah, they together, together. They don't make it together, together anymore. No, because they're still doing their own separate content. They're just not as much together anymore, which is okay. Like, I mean, cool the th I mean, the three of them don't do content together for reasons. Um, uh, uh, PM Seven explained it in a video on one of his personal oh, channels, but but I uh, saw that. Yeah, but uh, P Mike, but uh, both, but the both, both uh, the Michael Bros still uh still make content together absolutely they're they're killing it man they it's and that's always like what i wanted to aspire to be but i again i'm like more of a loner so it's like how do i get there so i don't know i was yeah i know it's always I, something. yeah like, i still can't tell you how many times like my loner instincts and my social awkwardness have kept me from uh doing things and uh reaching out to people i mean heck even to this day i'm still scared to reach out to some people but hell um, I am, uh, still branching out as far as I, as far as I can do. And, um, I mean, this show is obviously the biggest example of that because if I didn't have people to invite, uh, the show wouldn't exist. So there's me, um, going out of my comfort zone. Nah, man, big, big courage on you. Like, I, I don't think I could ever do something like this. Like, I, I'm doing a soul link now, but like, that, that's probably like the extent of it. Cause that's like, I'm doing it with like my best friend, dude. <laughs> like, I'm, like, so scared to, like, interact with people sometimes. I don't know why. I get so nervous. I, I feel like it's just because of, like, judgments and stuff like that. But, yeah, man, it's... I, I'm, I'm actually really glad I joined Twitch. I've met, actually, like, some of the coolest people on here that I never would have met IRL. And I, I know, think that's same like really, with me. Yeah, dude, it's, like, the beauty of Twitch, I feel like. And it's, it's just crazy, man. It's really... It's just wild. Yeah, yeah it's know. crazy. Like how, actually, um, how long have you been streaming? Like when when exactly did you start? Um, I think. Oh man, I love that. Oh, God. I don't know. Oh, thank you. Um, I think sometime in November two years ago, I I want to say, or maybe almost three years. It would be three years in November. I th I think it'd be like three years in November would be would be the Twitch journey for me. I see. Somewhere between there. I'm not sure. I'm bad with I'm bad with dates. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's pretty easy for me to tell you when I first started streaming because I started streaming the day like the Isle of Armor DLC released. <laughs> oh man, that's cool. That's sick. Is that the first thing you streamed? Exactly. Nice. I think I tried. I think my first stream ever. I was like, man. Nobody's gonna come out. I gotta do something exciting. So I did an E4, like an E4 run in I think it was Shield. 
because I was like, oh, this is the first time I'm like playing a game. And I was like, you know, we're gonna do Pokemon. This is it. And that was it from there. And just try to think of new challenges and stuff. But yeah, I didn't know what to stream exactly. I was like, because what was it? Um, I was like, do people really want to watch me play a game? I don't know. Probably not. So I guess I'm gonna try to do something as exciting in the game as possible. And I figured like the E4 is like always the most exciting part and did a Nuzlocke run of that. So. <laughs> actually uh, my very first um challenge run that i did for the channel was a shield uh wonder slash surprise lock um <laughs> none of the none of the footage of that exists to this day but uh the only like the only uh person that remembers it was like one of my og followers who doesn't really pop in pop in anymore but i'm uh he knows that it, he knows that he knows it because he was there that's crazy that's actually really cool man that's actually pretty inspiring actually I might do something like that. I, maybe we could do a collab with that someday. But that, that neither here or there. There, we could talk about that some other time if you want. Yeah, we can. Uh, we can definitely talk about talk about something. I already got some stuff down the line. I'll talk about later. But uh, let me. Ooh. All right. So, a little bit. A little bit backstory to me. Um, as I said, my name is Spence. This is the Pokey Network. I I label myself as a variety Pokemon streamer because I stream all types of Pokemon related content. I do I do shiny hunting, I do nuzlocks, I do randomizers, I do randomizer nuzlocks, I do, I play fan games, I play, uh, just do traditional playthroughs, um, podcasts, uh, shiny hunting events, pretty much anything outside of the Pokemon mobile games. Um, it's right here on this channel. And similar to Ghost, I got inspired to do content by uh, Pokemon tubers like MJTV, PM7, Purple Cliff, stuff like that. But my main, my main guy that I got inspired from was MHATV because I watched him like I watched him back in my early high school, like my, my my late high school days and college years. So yeah. I actually um, before I even started streaming, I actually reached out to him via email to see if like he could give me some advice on how to get started because I honestly didn't have anybody to talk to about this because I was just a lonely nerd. I was literally the only Pokemon nerd in my entire graduating class, so I had nobody to talk to. But, I feel like. um, to my surprise, he actually responded, and he gave me some advice, so I took took that advice, and until I had some money to invest in my first ever setup, um, it took me a while, but, um, um we got it off, I got it off the ground, and like I said, I started streaming the day the Isle of Armor DLC released, which was J June 17th, 2020, and for the first six months, I, I mean, I, 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 that's how long I've been streaming, I've been streaming for almost four years, and for the first six months, I genuinely did not know what the hell I was doing. Because I was terrible at social media, and I came into Twitch as a complete ghost. I didn't, not no pun intended. Um, hey, nah. <laughs> like I came in, I came in as a complete unknown. I didn't know anybody. Nobody knew me. So it took me a while to get stuff off the ground. And it wasn't until I met Power Punch Plays, the OG, the the pilot guest of the show, um, is where I finally learned how to use Twitch properly. So, um, after, uh, in January, I finally got affiliated and it just all took off from there. So I'm just, uh, I'm just really fortunate to be where I am because I have met some of the greatest people I've met, uh, met in my life. I mean, literally I have met my half, some of my, half my mod team and my, some of my VIPs IRL uh, a couple of years ago. Sick, man. I love that photo. Do you mind yeah. showing it again? I'm sorry. I just like want to, oh, yeah, like, sure. if that's okay, no, I apologize. Uh, I got two. I got two cameras here, so we have oh, to yeah, watch. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, yeah, you're good. Two, All right. That's I got two cameras man. here. I love that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. That's what got me into it. Um. And uh, I'm just glad I've been here ever since. We have good a hydrate. Have you, oh, let's do it. My favorite thing. Cheers, buddy. Okay. So next comes uh the origin of our channel name um section. So it's it's. That's actually a question for a, a a a little bit more of a question for me because your name is mostly ghostly gamers, yet you're the only gamer I've seen on the channel. So, where's the contrast, or was there another gamer? So, explain to me how that came about. Sure, man. Um, so this is this is gonna dox myself a little bit, but I had this ex, right? I had I had an ex girlfriend and we would do this saying where it'd be like, oh, we're like mostly toasty, like mostly, mostly toasty. And um, I was like, I love ghosts. So I wanted to do like mostly ghostly, but obviously that name is like taking every freaking part of any corner of the, the internet. And 
I could have done like, oh, mostly ghostly gamer, but that that didn't seem like that didn't sit right with me. I wanted to try to, I guess, more incorporate plural because I know there's multiple mostly ghostlies who are gamers, and I figured if I'm gonna build a community, I f I want to have people be mostly ghostly gamers. I want you to be part of this. This is something that I like. I'm very big on interaction with my chat as much as possible. Like sometimes when I'm in the heat of a battle, I'm like, guys, I'm here for you. I love you. Just, I need to focus. This is crucial. I'm sweating. I'm nervous. This is happening. And it's, um, I, I, I figured doing the plural makes it more encompassing, honestly, just because who wants to go, oh, mostly ghostly gamer. Oh, what a loner. And then just, I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I, I definitely just wanted to try to really incorporate a lot of um community aspect i guess of the name because it's like oh like i'm a mostly ghostly gamer like i'm part of the mostly ghostly gamers you know what i mean like that's that's my crew the ghostly crew <laughs> and that's kind of that's kind of actually how it came to be it, it i took it from like a, 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 a phrase that my ex and i used to say brought it to twitch to make it more pokemon-esque obviously because ghost type i mean you love dark types right like that's top goon over here yeah. I, uh, go ghost typing is my favorite. Unfortunately, I'm weak against you, so that sucks. But... I mean, we'll talk more about that later on, but, uh, that's actually a really good way to put it because, I mean, the way my name is, I'm a network of people, so I've always wanted to, you know, integrate as many people into the channel as possible, whether you're a, a, a viewer, a lurker, just a, just a fan, I mean, a mod, a VIP, like, I want you to be a part of this no matter what. That's, because I always say, this is not a one-man show. Um, my channel is not a one-man show. I may be the guy running by. I may be the guy just running all this stuff, but it's all it's all an it's all uh, uh, an effort of the entire community. That's what I love to say. I agree, man. It's it. I don't. I try to let the community, like my community, know, uh, know, and I'm sure you do too. It's just like how much the support really matters. Like no matter what it is, whether it be just whether it be lurking, chatting uh even promoting like some social stuff like that like i have a lot of people who actually like just help me so much on socials which is really crucial right like you, uh, we talk about networking trying to, to 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 get people to the channel build a build a great community of awesome people and i i i really guys i really thank you so much for showing up today it, can i just like say hi to a couple people i don't want to like interrupt go, like go ahead man go ahead uh, yeah, Ma, thank you for being here. Bean, buddy, that's that's my souling partner, Moon King Bean. I, I fucking love that guy, man. That is like my brother from another mother. That is certainly my other lover, and that's how I introduce him all the time. <laughs> I got Try, dude. Try was one of the uh, one of the OGs. Ma was one of the OGs. Toast, the ghost Toast, another literal another yeah, ghostly gamer. Yeah, Try's one of my goons. Try's awesome, man. Uh, we got Rose, the God mod. Rose, I met through another streamer that was a, a Genshin Impact streamer, and it was insane. Pages. Pie juice, Shalos, Ali, Ali. I met in uh, like DVD as well. Hey Luna. Like, but yeah, and then, but yeah, uh, just everyone from the Ghostly Crew and everybody from the Dana Goon Squad. Shalos. Thank you all for being here today. Appreciate y'all, Dana. Thank you for your support too. I really appreciate it. We, we honestly, we do. This is this is amazing stuff. So thank you guys for being here. Thank y'all. All All right. So, um, I believe you're the first guest who doesn't know this because I've only known you for probably less than a year. The yes. Pokey Network is not my original channel name. What? Little, mes little mesmerized look on your face. <laughs> well, if you don't mind asking, like, get, get, spill the beans, man. I gotta know. Now I'm interested. <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, I mean, well, I wasn't this, just, like, I'm I like, mean, this, so curious now. But yeah, this means now. All right, so this means you didn't watch. I mean, you didn't watch. At, at least watch that part of the of the last podcast, but. My original, t my original Twitter name, uh, my original username was S Pokey Network. I was still the po I was still Pokey Network, but I didn't put V. I put S, and allow me to explain why I did that. So, um, when I first, when I first was like getting around to using a username, I wanted Pokey to be my username because I wanted people to recognize me as a Pokemon guy. So yeah. I just put Pokey in my name. So I needed something else. So, um, when I was in college, I went for business administration, and if you've ever taken business courses in college, I mean, there is a lot of group projects, and also, I went for business administration, to be precise. Um, 
and uh there was a lot of networking and and integrating in um business and a lot of networking so i think pokey network huh this fits pokey network sounds like a good click so i put it in and obviously it's not taken so i was like all right what do i do now i didn't want to put v um at the moment i wasn't thinking of v at the moment because i thought it was just too generic so i wanted to like stand out so i put s in front of there because s is just my first initial because my my my, re my legal name is spencer that's why i love people that's why i let people call me spence instead of like my channel name because i like to be on like a first name basis with people if they want but here's that's the cool. thing i did not know how much chaos and how much mispronunciations this would ensue because twitch does not allow you to use um hyphens and i don't like using underscores so there was no space in between s and p in the name so you can imagine how many people mispronounced the name over the years so spoke network <laughs> <sighs> cringe spoke network <laughs> spoke network s poke spoken uh poke network just so many mispronunciations <laughs> it was unreal oh man, like I'm even po even people that i rated into that were pokemon guys mispronounced my name that's insane really yes i'm not kidding i think like some people who have been on this show have admitted that they mispronounced my my name the first time I, they met me because they didn't know what exactly i did <laughs> even though right. even though like i i raided with pokemon related emotes and all this other stuff i'm like really <laughs> yeah i mean like i would have been like oh what's the s for i would have been like oh like i probably honestly i feel like i would have like pokemon that i would have been like oh Pokemon network as s Pokemon network like i could have i'm not smart man like let me tell you like i i do not make connections there's literally clips of me like I, I couldn't even say the word esophagus because I've never really seen it written out. I'm like, what the what the hell is esophagus, dude? <laughs> yeah. And like, I at least would have gotten s po like s po poking network. So, damn, that's a shame, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Like, do you see my metal? You see that sign right there in the back, right there? I'm yeah. pointing at that. Um, yep. that's actually a metal sign I custom made. It's, I used a laser etcher for it. Oh, um, shit. my old logo is actually on the back of there and you guys won't see it on this camera, but I think, uh, you'll be able to see it on this one. Um, that's my old logo. Oh, that's sick. Yeah. So you can see where the S, uh, was in there, but obviously, you know, yeah, this no, is my really... old, this, I, yeah, this, this is like a little bit of homage to me and this is just my old play mat. Honestly, dude, that's like a really cool play. <laughs> that's so yeah. sick. Yeah. I got a Magic the Gathering one. <laughs> That's as cool <laughs> as I got. All right. Well, um, after about two and a half years of that name, I was like, I'm done. So I recon I recontacted the person who who made all this initial stuff for me, my layouts, my logos, and all that. And I said, get rid of the S, give me a V, and just rebrand me again. And um, I rebranded on the on the first of last year, and it's just been a very positive change ever since. That's awesome, man. I, I if if i could say i really do like the name of the poking network i i think that's super sick i really do enjoy that yeah um yeah it's been a much more professional change because like now like i'm i feel like i'm a more identifiable person than i was with the old name yeah if, yeah spence from s poking network versus s from the poking network that's not that, that just sounds so much cooler no offense yeah yeah, I I fully agree. That's why I that's why I, that's why I yeah. rebranded. <laughs> okay. Heck yeah, man. All right. So now that we got the formalities out of the way, let's actually get into the nitty gritty details on what makes us Pokey nerds. So I got our. So I pretty much know without asking, but what is your favorite Pokemon? Honestly, it's tough because it, it, it's either it's either gonna be Eevee because there was so. There's this backstory on Eevee. I thought Eevee was the coolest Pokemon because it had three evolutions. And it's not like, it's not like, oh, is it randomly going to evolve into Silcoon or Dust or, uh, or, uh, Cascoon? It's not going to, it's not, it's, no, it's like, I get to decide what the hell you're going to be. And to me, that was super cool. Gen 2 comes out, Umbreon, oh, freaking goat. I love Umbreon. And it's just... Every, I don't know, man. Eevee has just been an absolute staple for me. Oh, stop. Do, do I go get mine? Because I have that exact one. 
Do whatever you want, man. This is my this is Give our me show. Tw- Twenty seconds, dude. I'm not even kidding. I have that exact same freaking one on my kneecap. <laughs> Eh, don't mind us. We're just uh, admiring our Pokemon stuff. <laughs> I thought he was going to say Gengar right out of the gate. But yeah, if anyone if anyone from the Goon Squad is not following uh, Ghost, guys, please go drop the man a follow. <laughs> Bam. Where is my camera? Right there. Yeah, mine's a... I think mine has more of a narrow face than yours. And, uh, I don't know. I've never kept mine in a box. This has been always out. I don't know if you ha- yours got like squished or something, but I, I mean, got. Mine's, no, I just been in my nerd cabinet. <laughs> this is uh yeah. I, I still got my, the, the tag on mine. I never wanted to take it off just in case. I, I don't like, remember if mine I'm... came with a tag or not, but anyway. So yeah, man, we got e- is... goat. <laughs> so, All right, so we have Eevee. So is it Gengar or is it something else? It's actually, I as much as I love Gengar, like, Gengar is just a menace. Sorry, my camera got shifted a little. Yeah, Gengar's good. a menace in uh, in Pokemon, but it actually became Hisuian Zerua because <laughs> the, mostly ghostly. We're mostly ghost type, but we're still pretty normal. We're still human. We're still we're still beings of this world, man. So I, I, I love the ghost normal type never been done until then. And I'm just like, dude, this is the coolest typing three immunities. Give it levitate four immunities. <laughs> Good God. Yeah, that would have been, cool. <laughs> been sick. And I, it, maybe one day that, cause I know some games like, um, like there's ROM hacks out there that like give Pokemon like ghost normal types and it's, that's super cool to me so hopefully yeah. one day we get a, a ghost with four immunities yeah there was a insert in Pokemon Insurgents um the Delta or the whatever Ambipom it was that's ghost yeah. normal yeah that dude literally Delta M and J play, yeah M and J TV's playthrough that was so cool to me and I was just like dude and he named it what was it I think it was Mono and I was like oh such a cool name. I loved it, man. I thought it was... I, 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 love, the, I love the typing. It's so cool. So uh, I think Hisui and Zorua took the cake. And Zoroark, like, Zor, Zorua and Zoroark are, like, absolute staples because it's, like, ditto, but, like, cooler. Uh, hold on and, one second. Uh, Mods, can you please, re- can you please uh, give Jump back their points? Um, those are actually topics we're going to be discussing later on today, Jump. Now, oh, Poppy Jump, Shalos. Yeah, so uh, uh, please, re- please, uh, mods, give Jump his points back, and we'll get to those topics when we get to them. That sounds Gudra. But anyway, yeah. But anyway, um, I hold, I hold no surprise to my favorite. It's my boy Obstagoon. Still a cool typing, man. I, I really like the 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 normal dark type. Actually, I was like, damn, Obstagoon is fucking sick. It's good. It's good for um the facade set, but um uh, in terms of its typing, um the quad weakness to dark is uh, I mean the quad weakness to fighting is uh not not uh, not per se good. But the biggest reason the biggest reason why I fell in love with Obstagoon is because I'm a big rock and roll guy. I I'm not the biggest fan of Kiss, but uh, I know the fact that it's based off of like Gene Simmons is actually pretty sick. And um Agreed. I mean um we'll talk about it later, but I'm a huge fan of dark types. And this thing jumped into my top 10 on looks alone without anything else included. Um, but I'm, uh, why does Agoon and Obstagoon look like twins? I don't know. Because uh, I try to design myself um, off Obstagoon. <laughs> like, I, my normal look on stream is me with a black polo shirt with a gray vest. So I kind of look like him. The only thing I'm missing is the poofy shoulders. <laughs> you, gotta do the, you just gotta do the face paint too, man. That's I it, actually, dude, I'm... I actually, I'll actually explain, I'll actually explain that later on too about something oh, I do with go. face paint. But I'm, uh, Sick. but I'm, uh, yeah, um, so yeah, jumped into my top 10 based on looks alone, and, um, I finally got to use it in Sword and Shield, and this thing is just an absolute monster. It's a genuine threat when set up right. With Guts, Facade, a Flame Orb, and Max Attack and Speed, with Jolly Nature, this thing's gonna wreck everything in sight. It's, uh, what's its, uh, like, protect move that's obstruct yeah obstruct is still broken to this day that's probably why it's not in scarlet and violet because it's still a broken move the second yeah if if the freaking opponent hits it with a fizz actually makes contact it lowers its defense by two so i remember one time i was doing an online battle with this lady with i believe this lady who had a dracovish on her team she tried to use vicious rend on me and i obstructed and then i attacked her with obstruct and then i mean i attacked her with facade she even at minus two she shocked the facade oh coat the thing yeah, that's 
Why are you shocked? You should have seen it coming, friend. I don't know. <laughs> Octagon oh, yeah. is really cool, man. Yeah, um, for a while, it actually overtook Darkrai as my favorite Pokemon, because Darkrai was my favorite Pokemon for like 10 years. But um, uh, when I knew I wanted to uh, start stream, I knew I needed a mascot. So um, uh, I knew Patters was using Darkrai as like a co-mascot for a while, so I didn't want to feel like I was copying him. So I went with Obstagoon because right. no one was using it. So here we are. No, man, Obstagoon, good choice. Obviously, Darkrai, staple. Also, congrats, buddy, on that one. That was... <laughs> Yeah, fi yeah, finally after after nearly two years. That's so sad, man. No, it's it's just so unfortunate. I, I my heart was hurting for him, but when I saw the clip, dude, ah, oh, big big win. I'm super hyped for you. But I really yeah. love obstacle. I like because I like the Linoon. Like I'm a Hoenn baby naturally. Like I started out with red, blue, went to gold, silver, crystal. But Hoenn was probably what, where it really took off for me. And I was like, oh, man, Lanoon, like, this is a cool Pokemon. Belly drum, headbutt, get, get schmecked. Like, <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting decently O-code in, like, lower tiers, so. Yeah, that was, uh, that was some crazy times. <laughs> they definitely made that. I, I really think the, the dark typing just made it better. I mean, granted the four times weakness, but, like, you're obstruct. That, then you probably outspeed. You just come back. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I like Obstacle. Good strategies with it. Heck All yeah. right. So, what is your... F so, based on what we just talked about, is Umbreon your favorite shiny Pokemon, or is it something else? Oof. Umbreon, it, it's tough, because I really love... I think Umbreon has one of the greatest shinies, simply because of its simplistic, like, nature. Like, it's just... The, the blue with the black and, and the yellow eyes just really it's it's very appealing to me but i think i gotta go with either hisuian zarua or ghastly the, obviously we we know how crappy the 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 haunter gengar shinies are but ghastly to me i, I love purple and blue purple and blue is like my favorite color scheme so i, I really gotta go with um like the the I I don't know man. Eevee's a great shiny too because it's ghost like that looks like ghostly Eevee. Oh god, there's too many cool shinies, dude. It's so tough. I, I know. I'm, I'm either gonna I'm gonna go with either like Eevee, Hisuian, Zarua, or or Ghastly. Honestly, one of those three. I really <laughs> like uh I like Zoroark and like no like base Zarua Zoroark shinies because changing the red to like the purple that was super sick. Black and purple, great color scheme. I got and emotes then, uh, based on both. That's what I'm saying. You already know. I have an emote that has like a the transformation, like a go. You know, remember Danny Phantom? Yeah, of course. Going yeah. ghost. I got Isuian Zor Zoroark being the ghost form of Zoroark, and it's uh, it's a hype emote of mine. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Thanks. I really <laughs> like it. It's tough. What uh would you say, Obstacle's yours or? I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the red, white, and blue demon, but I'm uh, it's not my favorite shiny. Yeah, hold on. Let me show you, you that. Beautiful card, man. Nice card. Yeah. But um, my favorite color schemes are obviously blacks, grays, uh, reds. Also a little bit of blue in there. Um, there's only one Pokemon that comprises all uh, one Pokemon. Um, minus minus another one actually. There's one. There's one that does. Uh, there's another one that does. But uh, the one that obviously can comprises all four of those. Johnny Greninja. Oh, that's a good mod. That is a good choice. Yeah, Greninja is actually my second favorite Pokemon of all time, and it uh, is my favorite shiny. Um, in all honesty, if Greninja's shiny wasn't so epic, I would have chosen Rayquaza regardless, because Rayquaza oh, is my favorite legendary, and its shiny is top tier. The 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 black drip man, so cool. Yeah. Yeah, but, but like you, I'm kind of I'm like a Gen Three baby. That's where I got my start uh, playing Pokemon. So it definitely was a uh, definitely was a like like there was one point I was doing like one of these TikTok filters where um, I had to like you know bob my head to choose my Pokemon, and at the very end it was it was over it was Lugia versus Rayquaza, and I got I am very fond I've been fond of Lugia over the past few years because I did my very first uh, my very first randomizer I ever did. Uh, my starter was Lugia, and oh. I've been fond of it ever since. And to this day, to this day, I have not been able to find a wild Lugia in a randomizer 
over the past two years. Damn, that's a. And long I've done time. at least I've done at least half a dozen randomizers. <laughs> the uh. So, can I just ask? You started with Lugia. I, I I genuinely started with Lugia. I didn't cheese it or anything. Like I didn't I didn't pick the starters. I had I think like it was like with, uh, it was a toss up between like Lugia. Um, I genuinely do not remember. It was like it was like a Gen two Pokemon. I think a Gen Gen three, and then there was Lugia. I was like, are right. you kidding me? Lugia? Like how do you not go? With, how do you not go with Lugia? But doesn't it only have Whirlwind? <laughs> no, it was a randomizer, so I randomized the move sets. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that that is actually a lot better because I remember somebody I forget who did it, but um maybe it was PM7 or Purple Cliff. They yeah, chose I, I, Lugia and it only had Whirlwind. And they're like, <laughs> do anything. And I was like, I know, I'm I, never picking Lugia. <laughs> I know, I randomized I randomized the movesets and the abilities, which sucked because its ability was Luminate. Oh man, that's Yeah. Yeah, which it sucked, but that's, oh, all, right. that's all right. Oh, like off, still off topic, but I kid you not, this thing could not learn a psychic move for anything. I, it wouldn't learn it naturally. I couldn't TM it. It wasn't until the very end of the game where the professor gives you your like that TM after you visit her them after the main after the main game. She gave me yeah. Psy Strike, and guess what? Lugia can learn it right at what? the very end of the Nuzlocke. Dude, that's so sad, because it's like, great. Thanks for your help. The whole time. I know, <laughs> and I was such lacking a decent psychic move. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, we're getting a little bit off we're getting a little bit off no, topic you're here. You're good, you're good. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, well, um, let's get back on topic. Um, what is sure. alright, so why why ghost it we've had you're probably like maybe the fifth or sixth person who said ghost is their favorite type so why did ghost type become your favorite um i thought because i think it's the only type with i think it was like gen one was the only time it had two two immune like two immunities i think it was the only pokemon typing with two immunities i think it still is i th i th no it's it's only immune to norm it's immune to it's still immune to normal and fighting yeah, but I think that's the only typing that has two immunities, if I can remember. Because I flying just has ground, fairy has dragon, um, ground has electric, and I, I think it just. I was like, wow, this thing is this is pretty cool. I ran into a ghastly and I couldn't touch it because I was a kid and I didn't know tackle didn't do anything. I see. So and I was like, what? <laughs> it's menace. And I was like, if this is if if I'm struggling this hard, it's gotta be a good typing, right? <laughs> Obviously, it was crappy in Gen One, but I think I think that's where it really stemmed from, Lavender Tower. Like if if the like if the gas if the if the Gengar line didn't have the poison type, they probably would have been decent in Gen in Gen One against psychic Agreed. types. But because they had the poison typing, psychic types just plowed right through them. Yeah, and that stupid coding error. God yeah, the coding error where it wasn't weak to ghost at first, and then we jumped to Gen two, and it is weak to ghost. Yep. Sag, they did my boys dirty. They knew we were gonna be OP one day. You th you think they did your boys dirty? They did my they've done my boys dirty for the past like twenty years. This is true, you, but the you I think dark what what was it? Dark typing came in for the psychic check. Yeah. And that and that and that was pretty much it. And <sighs> like we've also, got I guess like. Go ahead. No, 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 I was just gonna say I think the steel typing was the psychic check too, but um. Yeah, yeah, they, they both got introduced to nerf it, but uh, steel was for other things along with that. But dark was mainly there for psychic because it was it was immune to it was immune to psychic. Right. But yeah, um, but yeah, but still, um, ever since dark was introduced, like, because like I said earlier, dark is my favorite typing. Ever since dark was introduced, we got one, two, three different elite four members, no gyms. The second the fairy type was introduced, guess what? We got not gym. only a legendary, we also got a gym. True, when dark type was introduced, we got a pseudo and an elite four member, but no gym. It wasn't until yeah. six generations later, we finally got a gym. <laughs> An official gym, not counting the kahuna. Yo, shout out to Piers though. Go yes, shout Pokey. out to Piers. Shout out to Piers and Marnie. Is Pier Marnie is my favorite pokey girl of all time. Uh. I don't know who mine is. I think. 
Oh, All right, man. but anyway. I don't know. But there's there's more to why Dark is my favorite because uh, like I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I've been through a lot of bad shit. I'm not going to I don't obviously don't talk about it on the show cuz that's not what it's about, but I've been right. in really dark places my whole life and I just felt really at home with dark type Pokémon and on top of that, like po most dark types have like some really badass and sick designs and they got some amazing move pools. Most of them are glass cannons, but if you do if you work them properly, you can pretty much oko anything before they even get a chance to even hit you. True, man. I freaking personally Houndoom bestest boy. I know everyone's gonna say Arcanine. No, Houndoom is. I I'm sticking with that. <laughs> I'll take Houndoom any day. I'm sorry. Yeah, Houndoom, Houndoom isn't evil. Like, like, it's obviously the evil type in Japan, but it's not evil because, like, Houndoom nurtured Togepi in the anime when it got lost. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's, I, I, I it's, you know, it's really that freaking, it's the Pokedex entry where it's, flames just burn so hot that it, like, you're, you're, you're burned forever. You know what? Don't piss off my Houndoom. That's all you yeah, have to well, do. Yeah, well, yeah, well, <laughs> apparently Esper's, like, psychic power is so, out, is so, like, um, so powerful that it can't control it and it can pretty much, like, implode an entire planet or something like that. Something like Dragon Tamer Tom told me. And every time, like, he hates it for that. He hates it solely based on its dex entry. And every time uh, I see it, every time I see something Esper related on Twitter, I tag him in it and he just goes, like, <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah, Esper's I know. Esper's an interesting mon, though. I'm yeah. not a fan. I'm not a fan of it personally. I don't think I don't like the design. Uh, but I never really, I never really showed interest in it because I never really used one. Yeah, there's better psychic types out there. A thousand percent. <laughs> all right, so Ghost, uh, what would you say is your favorite Pokemon game of all time? This can include main series and spinoff, but uh, lately I've been asking if the guest has a favorite spinoff game. List that too. So, sure. What do you got? So as a kid, um, I played like the original Pokemon Pinball as a spinoff game. Hmm. That that to me like do you, i don't remember if it was like the gba or the gbc one that had like the battery pack on the back to to enable the rumble feature yeah i think so i remember that 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 was probably like my favorite spinoff game and then they came out with like the 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 gen 3 one when ruby and sapphire came out and i was like i freaking love this thing pokemon pinball i got pokemans i got the pins balls i'm having a grand old time so I think I got to go with uh, Pokemon Pinball as my favorite spinoff game. Like, I like the TCG and collecting the cards, which was, like, really cool. But uh, definitely that is... And I know everyone's like, oh, but Mystery Dungeon, Mystery... Like, yeah, I get it, but Pinball. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, my boy John uh, Power Punch, who was initially on the show. He uh, he hates Mystery Dungeon. Does he? Yeah. What's, what's the reasoning? Um, There was, there was like... Uh, he, he, just, he just didn't like the flow of the game, and he played, like, three of them, and he's like, yep, not, never again. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I uh, well, I mean, I guess Coliseum, Coliseum, and Gale of Darkness are good, but I just, I was, I was mainly a like a the, the handheld gamer. Like, I like the GameCube, greatest greatest console that's ever came out in my opinion. Obviously, people disagree, which is cool. But uh, I play like a lot of like Super Smash Bros. Melee on it for uh -huh. for more of that. But um, I I definitely played like Pokemon Pinball was the goat for me, and I think um probably. I didn't have Emerald as a kid, so I'd have to say Sapphire was my favorite version because I really like. That was the very first Kyogre. game I ever played. Yeah, man, it's a good freaking game. I love it. And meeting like Archie for the first time, I was like, "Yo, this guy's design is sick. He's a badass." Mighty Anna was cool. Mighty Anna's a goat now too, man. Intimidate, give it like an expert belt. So good. Yeah, I'm actually using one of my uh, Omega Ruby. I use one. Of, I'm using one of my Omega Ruby Dark Lock. Nice. How's that going? Um, I haven't played it in a while, so I'm, uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, for a while, I kind of, I kind of paused the entire Dark Lock series for a while, but I've recently brought it back, but I'm, right. uh, don't worry, guys, that Dark Lock will return, you'll find out soon, but anyway. I can I'm excited. Yeah, uh, me too. All right. Yeah. So, when I talk about my favorite Pokemon game, um, first off, spinoff game, XE Gala Darkness. I played it once um, on an emulator for stream. Loved it. Loved every second of it. Um, I forgot I forgot Mirror B existed, and I just couldn't stop laughing at this goofy fuck. <laughs> I actually don't... Can you explain that one to me? Because I'm actually not too, too familiar with that, actually. Mirror B? Let me look that one up. He's, the, he's like the super skinny tall guy with the heels and the afro. Oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I forgot... 
I didn't play Coliseum, so I forgot he was a thing, and I just couldn't, I just couldn't contain my laughter. And also, some of the animations in that game are just really, really, really dumb. Like, Electrode doesn't have eyeballs. It has those little squint eyes. But when it faints in XD, it literally has eyeballs popping out of its head. Yeah, that's... That's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah, that's um, cool, I, like, when I saw that, I could not stop laughing. I was so... <laughs> it was like, I couldn't stop laughing. It was so funny. But, um... When it comes to the main series, um, I can't choose one specific game. I have to divide it between three different categories. When it comes to the main story of the game, the Pokédex of the game, and then my overall, just my overall experience with the game. So, storyline-wise, Gen 5 games, people could show them all they want, but they have the best written storylines of any main series Pokémon game. No contest. You can't change my mind. That's valid, man. Vers truth versus ideals. Pretty um specifically black two and white two catches my eye because hugh is the best rival of all time because he's not in this for any other reason only than to make sure you're strong enough to further his goal of rescuing his sister's purloin yeah he's not is... there for the fame and glory he's just there to make sure you're tough enough so that way you don't like hinder his his plan 100 percent I wasn't, I actually didn't get to play Gen 5 specifically. Like, I, I actually recently just started playing Gen 5 because I, I never played it as a kid. I, I didn't have it as on the DS. So I, I was like, you know, this is it's pretty tough. I like this. And badass character. Let's fucking go. Like, yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Gets this High Dragon was actually a reason why I hated it for so long because I just couldn't get past that thing. And I didn't yeah. have the internet because I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to beat it. I finally <laughs> beat it with a sock with sturdy holding an expert belt and close combating that bastard that's nice, why that's dude. how i beat it the, that's how i finally beat it and because of that sock was actually my favorite fighting type for a while until annihilate came into the scene oh legend cool <laughs> thank god i i'm so thankful it's not a mythical yeah they, they did my boy marshadow so dirty yeah i know uh yeah speaking of um speaking of annihilate um check out my latest emote yo that's pretty tough i like that yeah um i was gonna say this later on guys but um fresh new emote drop for the pokey network i got three brand new um sub bats uh emotes for my subscribers spirit tomb pride alolan vulpix chill and annihilate monkey Oh dear. Yeah, and uh, oh, we have yo, to put emphasis. Yeah, we have to put emphasis on the a eh, because that's what that's. What, <laughs> there's a whole story behind that, but I'll 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 explain I'll explain that a little bit later, I guess. Sounds good. But yeah, um, yeah, um, out of all these emotes, I love my new pro that this pride emote. Um, this was like this was a fever dream of uh, between me and my my mod tricks, and it came out way better than I expected. Yeah, man, that looks great. All of yeah. them do. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, they, yeah, that spirit team is so cool. I love that. Yeah, I still got a t I still got a tag who made it, but I'm uh, it was a uh, 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 it was a uh, uh, who, who uh, was that? Uh Chris Killens. Nice, nice. Yeah, she's a good one. But uh, anyway, um, back to what I was ta talking about. Um, oh, sure. based on. Um, Poke based on the Pokédex of the game, I loved I love Pokemon Platinum because um, in the original, um, oh, thank you for the seventy two bits, uh, Ghost Toast. Toast. All right, um, yeah, um, just to let you guys just just so you guys are aware, um, alerts are turned off for podcasts, so whatever you guys do, like emotes will pop up, but there won't be any alerts playing. That's why no alerts have been popping up the whole damn. But anyway, um, I, lo I love Gen 4, Platinum. Um, there was a lot of new Pokemon introduced that, you know, alternate evolutions. And I love Origin Form Garatina. Um, and just uh, just so many decent, so many amazing Gen 4 Pokemon. I love uh, Drapion, I love Lucario, Garchomp, um, Infernape, Staraptor. Just so many awesome, amazing Gen 4 Pokemon. Um, and my overall experience, I gotta give it to Hard Gold and Soul Silver because it was my first. Ex I mean, it's it's basic, but it was my very first experience in Generation Two because I didn't play Gold Silver Crystal, and just the whole 
a concept of the Pokemon following you, the Pokeathlon, um, two regions, and I mean, red. It was just, it was just really a really good. They, they, it set the bar for all future remakes in Pokemon history, and nothing has topped it since. Nothing. I agree. I've, I've just even like even at playing it as a randomizer. The game is just goaded, you know, like base, randomize, whatever you want to do, whatever mod you're doing to it. It's it's a great I I, th I think it's a really well put together game. I I'm actually do like I, I this I'm doing actually like a soul silver hardcore nuzlocke personally, just like on the side, you know, because I need yeah. I need I need some decompression from my nuzlocks on stream. My nuzlocke on this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah like um a notable pokemon that i had in my my soul silver randomizer was actually a full-on shiny hitmonlee yo and that's tough let's see here's the weird thing anytime i'm grinding in a randomizer off stream i i almost always find shinies almost never on stream never on stream every time, every time. there was only one time it was a, a mencino in an alpha sapphire um randomizer really that's yeah, cool. so uh yeah um but uh, but yeah um but a notable another notable one was a, a, a snorlax with i think it had chip away and huge power oh that's goaded yeah that's that 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 was uh that was definitely a goaded 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 uh chestnut is what i would call it <laughs> like like joey chestnut the competitive eater yeah man i actually haven't heard joey chestnut in a while I go for some dog. <laughs> hot dog man. <laughs> yeah, I actually do like hot dogs. I, I don't give me shit. <laughs> I don't. Hey, I don't judge. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. All right. So now that we got past, now we now that we got through the love section of the channel, let's go straight to hate. So, okay. Ghost, are is there a Pokemon that you despise so much that you would uh, kick it to the sun? There's a few. Well, which one is the one that would... What's the one where if somebody brings it up, you're like, um, please shut the fuck up? It's it's somewhere between Smoochum, Chingling, and Chimecho. <laughs> okay, what did Chingling and Chimecho do to you? What the fuck is a Chingling doing? A Chimecho needed an evolution, not a Chingling. Chingling is shit. It's dog water. It doesn't do anything. It just chings and lings, and that's it. It sucks. <laughs> It sucks. I'm so mad at that thing, dude. What the fuck is a chingling? Stupid ass bell ball. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> this is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Stupid fucking bell ball, dude. And Smoochum, what the fuck are you, dude? Kissing everything? Nobody consented. Chime Echo, Chime Echo is probably at the bottom of the list because, you know, it's Chime Echo. Like, I get it. It's its niche thing. It's on Mount Pyre. So be it. But you needed to evolve, Chimecho. You didn't need a pre-evolution. Nobody said, oh, Chimecho pre-evolution would really help this fucking line out. Stupid. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Embrace the hate. God, it's so dumb. It's a stupid fucking mom that doesn't do anything. Smoochum sucks. I, I saw Rose say Jinx. But Jinx is at least a little bit more viable than fucking Smooch. Ugh, God, stop kissing everything, Smoochum. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb i'm sorry ah yes finally i got somebody that just embraces the hate just as much as i do because you're you're about to see my air hate oh lay, lay it on me baby i'm ready for it i, I can't I wait for the crew to see fucking despise with every fiber of my being a lowland persian every yeah. every fucking fiber of my existence dreads hates and would freaking kick to the sun a million times over that stupid disgraceful piece of shit cat i love cats yeah, i have two cats of my own but fuck that one yeah did your did your dark types and your cats there that's a double offensive right that I was always told never never break two laws at once. But you're breaking the cat law, you're breaking the dark type law. What the hell is a lowland per oh, God, stupid design. Yeah. How ugly's well, better than you. That's yes. so sad. <laughs> yes, and allow me to explain even more. The biggest slap to the face as a dark type master. Because the closest thing before Piers and Marnie were a thing was Nanu, the Kahuna. 
the closest thing we got to a dark type gym leader was him and guess what yeah. his ace is that disgraced piece of shit cat every time i go near nanu i want to slap him in the face and say dude take your cat put him in the pound and get yourself in alolan muck because you need a powerhouse of a pokemon behind you dude alolan muck though is go like i love alolan muck i think that is one of the coolest alolan forms that's ever come out like i love alolan marowak but alolan muck is definitely a number two for me everyone likes alolan nine tails cool yes Great, i love beautiful. alolan nine tails too I have, I have, I have, I have an, a shiny Alolan Vulpix in three different generations of Pokemon. Oh, that's tough. Nice, man. Congrats. Like ever since Gen Seven, I've gotten every, I've gotten a shiny Alolan Vulpix in every game it can be in. Um, Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, X, um, um, Let's Go, Sword and Shield, and and uh, and Scarlet and Violet. Nice. Congrats, man. That's super huge. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh. We'll, uh fucking nani man we'll, we'll talk to him well you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna make a rom specifically for you and fucking bump this shit out of nani <laughs> uh, i'll do i'll do i'll do i'll, I'll help you out with that one because yeah that cat sucks dude what the fuck is a lowland version and also i just hate the fact that it actually gets a decent ability in fur coat that yeah. cat did not that cat did not need that good of an ability it that's yeah it really didn't i don't fucking I, I mean this with respect. I do, but it's an ugly fucking cat. It's a terrible yes, design. Yes, it it's is a, stupid, a terrible cat. It's a stupid fucking face. Ditto has a derp face, but it's a cute derp face. That, what the fuck is that? I, dude, I, you know what? I feel you. I feel you on the hate. Yeah, but then, here's a kicker. My mod Shrix, he made me shiny hunt the little bastard. See, that's when you do the slash unmod command and ban him. Yeah, it, it was a thing. He paid 100,000 channel points, but the joke was on him because I got it in 192 eggs in less than four hours. Yo, that's actually super uh, GG's. Well played. Hey, you know, I, the Poke Gods were like... No, it's not that. It's just you don't mess with the Basuda King of Sword and Shield. Nice. How do you... you don't mess... Your, uh, you, what? Did you, have the, did you have the ditto? Uh yeah, Masuda. Yeah, I I am a I am a Masuda Juggernaut in Sword and Shield. I've gotten uh, uh, like eight eighty to ninety percent of all my Masuda shines over the past few years within three hundred eggs in Sword and Shield. Bro, that's insane. GGs, man. My best luck was three shiny Alolan Vulpix in two hundred eggs. Within the same two hundred eggs. That's insane. That's really good. Well played, homie. Well played. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, fuck a little Persian. Like, kick that thing to the sun and hopefully it crisps, crisps to the point where you never see it again. I feel like they definitely could have made it more, like, definitely super cool. Make it more like Saber Tooth. I don't want to say Saber Tooth, but what would I, Make it more like a Lynx cat. Something. No. Something. I don't know. <laughs> Just I, don't get it. I don't know why it gets. I don't know why Meowth and like Persian get so much love, dude. They're just annoying. I don't like them. It's the. It's because of Team Rocket's Meowth. That's it. That's all it is. But. That. All right. Um. So, shiny Pokemon. Which one do you hate the most? I. I mean. I mean, the most common answer is, like, the ones that are barely noticeable, but there's, is there a shiny that's really gotten on your nerves? I don't... I can't say specifically that there's, like, something out there that, like, I really despise. I think... I, I feel like my obvious answer is Garchomp, because, like, they... That... Make it more Gibble-esque. Gibble had a great color scheme, and you're gonna... Do nothing? You do nothing? That's that's sad to me, but um, I don't know. I don't. I actually really don't have like too many hate for shiny Pokemon. I think um, I think when they make all blue Pokemon purple, I think that's redundant. And it's like, come on, man, give give Whelm or something different. Give him give him make him like yellow or something, or make, make him black. Like make it like a black orc or something. Like, that would have been cool. But they just... Ooh, that actually would be good. Yeah, just made it purple. 
It's fine. It's fine. It's still a nice color scheme, but it's just like, dude, come on. Have some, have, have some, put some thought in there. But, so, I, I don't know. I, Combuskin sucks. Well, they did, uh, they did change it since, well, they changed it between generations four and seven, but they brought back its OG color scheme from gen three into gen eight. Stupid. Dumbest idea. Yeah. But that, yeah, Blaz that, but that yeah, Blaz like, I love Blaziken, but it's an underwhelming shiny. I, I agree. It, it really... Sad. <laughs> Sad. But yeah. yeah, I don't really have too much hate for, for many shinies out there. I, I encountered a shiny happening once, and I was like, huh? <laughs> Are your pants more pink, I guess? Is, is that uh, what's going on? Yeah, and but, shinies I don't want to go for. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't even know how I encountered it. I don't even know where I encountered it. It was just a random encounter, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it was. There goes those spirit tombs. Well, pride tomb, as I call it. Spirit tomb shiny, I actually... S tier, in my opinion. 298 eggs, I think, for that guy for that thing. Nice, man. GG's. It's a good... It's a, I, I love spirit tomb. I thought Sableye, like... So... This is where we get to bond because Ghost Dark typing, greatest typing that's ever existed up until Gen 6, and Chucky Fairy, but whatever. Is that, is that safe to us? Actually, we'll talk more about that in a second, but yeah, before, sure, I, sure. Before, before we move on to that, my least favorite shiny is is a tie between Charcadet, Armor Rouge, and Saru Ledge. That's it. Yeah, I... Yeah. They... They dropped the ball big time. Those, the, the, those, those two specifically were two of the most anticipated Pokemon for in a good amount of time. And guess what they did? They completely botched their shinies. Because here's what they did. That's all they did. This is shiny me. The me with no sunglasses. This is shiny me. <laughs> here's my regular me. Shiny? Oh, jeez. <sighs> shiny? Not shiny. Shiny? Still look, Not shiny. You still That's look better. It. You still look better than the shinies, man. Yes, because I'm fly as fuck. <laughs> but anyway, just I've always said this: just t just make Charcadet a burnt out charcoal gray color, and then swap the color schemes of Armors and Ledge. That's it. That's all they had to do. That, but they didn't because they were they, lazy fucks. I agree, man. I I kind of feel the same way about Flabebe and like the fact that you can't even hunt that thing unless you got the camera up. That's like Mission Impossible, dude. <laughs> so it's so yeah. annoying. I mean, if I was going for that, I'd probably egg it, but I have no interest in egg enough for a Florges. So I got no interest. Yeah, I got that. Because I believe, um, based on what you just said, do you hate fairy types as much as I do? I really don't like them. I mean, so I'm like, it's like a toss up, right? Because you always want one on your team, but you never want to verse one. Because chances are, what it's got, like who, like who could you throw at, uh, like a fairy type? A nice poison typing, right? Of course, naturally, the best answer. You could say steel, but like I feel like poison just hits better against fairy. But the problem is, you got most of most of fairy typings learn a psychic move, and you're just shit out of luck anyway. And this, but this is coming from like a Nuzlocker experience. Yeah, like, I, know. So, I know. I know exactly what you mean. I love I love Sylveon because evolutions and all, but. Toast, shush. <laughs> but, but uh, like I like fairy typing. It's just it it's too it's too busted. I think it, it I think it needs to be nerfed. I think it needs more weaknesses. I I think it's I think what it hits super effective is fine. No offense, I'm sorry. But but um, I yeah. I just think I think it I think it needs to be nerfed a little bit. Like I think I think fire should at least be super effective against it. Like why the hell not? Like if you're gonna make fire resist it, why the hell not have fire just be super effective against it? Half of them are freaking grass plants anyway. I don't know. And for me, it's just like yeah, because they add the extra regions to dark types, and then on top of that, fairy types like High Dragon is basically all fairy type Pokemon's bitch. I love High yeah. Dragon, but yet the Dark Dragon type is just you put in a fairy type against there and it's done. One yeah. one fairy win and it's down for the count, and I hate it literal it, i it's it's you want to know it's even worse literally like disarming voice and you're done yes like, that's even one, worse one the, too one of the worst fairy moves out there and you're and it's just getting just getting schnock like don't get me wrong i i there's a few fairy there's like six fairy types i actually like i like grimmsnarl i like yep 
Mimikyu, I like. Yep. Gardevoir, no, don't 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 go thinking another th reasons, chat. Mega Gardevoir, shiny, S tier. Can't agree. Um, I like Togekiss. I like Alolan Ninetales. I also like Sylveon. So those six fairy types, I like. The other ones, go like go away. Uh, see, here's the thing, man. Is. Here's another thing, man. For well over a season, I always said this in every podcast. Grand Bull's got no business being a fairy type. No business. It makes Agreed. zero sense. But I 100% agree. Yeah, but the problem is when Tiny Tina came on the show, because she loves Snubbles. Her, that's her favorite Pokemon. <laughs> oh, God. She, she waited all that time to point this out to me that the classification for both Snubble and Gramble is the fairy Pokemon. Look it up if you don't believe me. I'm looking this up. I mean, yeah. it's not that I don't believe you. I just need to see it to like myself. Snubble yeah. Pokemon. Yeah, Where's just next entry. Yeah, just look up his classification. I want to see your reaction to this because I want to see if it's anything like mine. Ew! Why, dude? It doesn't. This is not fairy s. This is. This should have been yes. like like best pal, like best doggo, I guess. Yeah. They, it just, it should have just stayed normal type, but it didn't. That's the only reason it's a fairy type. That's so stupid. I know it is. I don't, like, don't get me wrong. I like a fairy type. On, like you said, I like the fairy type on a team, but I don't want to go up against them, especially when I'm using a full team of dark types. Dude, I there is so I, I was I was in somebody's uh stream the other day and they're like, dude, why does Gramble suck for you? But whenever you're versing them in like a like a like a ROM hack, like it's always like the most intimidating thing. I'm like, I know, like I don't get it. Gramble sucks as a Pokemon when you have it, but when the opponent has it, it's like devastating. I know. I know. Like oh, like how the like how the fuck do you get past this? You you don't. You don't. You, and then you, what do you try to do? Hit it with uh, hit it with some type of... Ch chances are you're not hitting it hard. You're really not. It's intimidating you. It's... Because Gramble gets what? Access to play rough, foul play too? Like, get the hell out of here. Why do you get both moves? That's one, of, that's one, that's one of the reasons if I'm going up against a... That's why I'm, if I'm going up against a Gramble, I'm bringing some sort of... Spe some, phys some like steel special attacker because even though it'll have Fire Fang, a Magnuson will outspeed it pretty good. Yeah, it is a, it is a bit slow on, on on its on its stats, but good. It is good god, it is still a, a freaking menace. It's terrifying, dude. I hate Gramble. I I don't hate Gramble, but I just don't wow. The fairy type or the fairy pokemon, that's so stupid. I know it is. I know it is. Like no disrespect to anyone that likes fairy types, but we got we got our own preferences and we can just agree to disagree. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> okay so what pokemon game would you say that you hate the most hmm like what game gave you such a bad experience that you honestly don't want to play it ever again sometimes i feel that way with hoenn because <laughs> i have such fond memories of it and when when the, when the nuzlocke isn't working out it's like the world comes crashing down. So I I I, I don't know because I really do like a lot of the Pokemon games. Like I don't I don't, I've never been like mm, this game sucks. Ew, this game sucks. Like I stand for Pokemon X and Y. Like I actually really like those games. People just say they were easy. So be it, man. It was just a fun game. I enjoyed the game. Oh God, you disagree? That's fine. <laughs> um, you're gonna you're gonna hate me here in a minute. That's fine. No worries. I. Honestly, I guess Gen 1. I really think... I think Pokemon Yellow is probably my least favorite. Just because Pikachu sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone else says it. Pikachu dog shit. And I can't even evolve you. I get it. It's based off the anime, but I can't fucking evolve you? Are you shitting me? You suck. You don't get access to Double Kick. You don't do anything. You're just sitting there following me around and you're you like i i hate that thing hate it oh so, my god i usually box it 
Uh, I mean, I, I I think I use an Alolan Raichu in a in a in a Wonderlock in Ultra Sun, I believe. But nice. other than that, I really don't even use it. I wouldn't use it. There's so many better electric types. Dude, I hate how it's the face. They should have just stuck with Clefairy. Would have been cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have hated Pokemon more if they did that because I honestly, like I said, I don't like fairy types. Well, it was it was technically normal at the time, so yes. I don't know. Yes, I mean, yeah, but still, it's the fairies in the name. Yeah, valid. Eh. That's valid. But yeah, um, yeah, like I said, you're gonna hate me because I don't want to hate play X and Y ever again. How come? What's the what's the reasoning? Well, for starters, like you said, it's way too freaking easy. Mega Evolutions broke the game, but not yeah. just that. I mean, um, I know it's their first ever 3D game, but they just made, like I said, they just made it way too easy. None of the gyms had a Mega. Every gym only had at least three. The Elite Four only had four Pokemon each. None of the Elite Four had a Mega. The only person that had a Mega outside of you, Karina, and Lysand, uh, like the, there, there was only three times you needed to Mega Evolve. It was against Karina, then it was against Lysander, then it was against Diantha. Three Mega Evolutions. Yeah. That's it. Those are the only Mega Evolutions you faced. But here's yeah. what, like what really uh, like don't get me wrong. I, there I love Greninja. I love Evelto. I love all the the Gen the Gen Six Dark types. There's a good amount of Gen Six Pokemon I like. Just the games themselves, I don't like them. But here's the biggest like here's the one here's the thing that really grinds my gears about X and Y. It's that Diantha, in my opinion, is the single worst champion of all time. Even surpassing Gita. Because a lot yeah. of people give shit to Gita based on her team, but they improved it after the Indigo Disc. They improved their team after the Indigo Disc. But, um, if you're a champion of a Pokemon game, you need to actually be in your, for, you need to be in your fucking game. Diantha, yeah, Diantha has zero, like zero, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Zero presence. impactability. The presence is minimal. You you run into her into what the coffee shop, like coffee oh shop? hi, and one time with I think Sycamore maybe. Yep. And then the E four. That's one. That there's actually five. The four. The first. The very first one is at the is at the laboratory when she's talking with Lysander. The last one is post game where she gives you a Gardevoirite with. Uh, a Ralts attached to it. Five five boxes of dialogue if you do not face her again. If you don't face her again, you only fuck talk to her five times. That's terrible. Gita's in her game more than that. Di <sighs> Cynthia is the dominant female face of any um, Pokemon League champ. Tr and uh, uh, Yes, I know that Wallace is technically not in Emerald until you face him, but everyone who played that game thought it was Steven before... Wallace was like, ooh, like, oh wait, oh wait, where's who's this Juan guy? Did where's Wallace? So yeah, no one dude. no like nobody thought that like maybe they just thought they replaced Wallace or something, and then all of a sudden Wallace is at the league. Chitab was like, What? Because we all thought goat? it was Steve we all thought it was still Steven, but it turned out to be Wallace. Yeah, that that shook me. I was actually kind of like I because I love Steven. Like Steven Stone, awesome, awesome design, like like physical design. I really liked his steel typing uh, team. It was it, it was a nice team. It was a really good thought out team. What do you have? Yeah, like uh, yeah, he was Metagross. my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Metagross, yeah. Metagross, okay. Metagross, Agron, Agron, Skarmory. Skarmory is a freaking pain in the ass. Like that, it's a good mon, and it sucked that he, they 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 did my my boy like that. I mean, they technically get. They technically gave him the the final boss battle. Um, but the final boss and battle. Meteor falls. Right? And Meteor falls. Yeah, they did that, but still, they sh they should have just kept the man, the champion. That's what I'm saying. Like, Wa again, Wallace is great. I I honestly think he was a great eighth gym leader. I I sh I struggled against him as a kid. I was like, dude, I don't know what the fuck to, to do with when, this. Uh, like, my my mod Strix and I we did a uh, a type lock race where. I only was only allowed to use water and dark types, and he used grass and ground. Um, Wallace's Milotic cleared his entire team. Yeah, one thousand percent. It's a go. Uh, Milotic's an uh, Milotic's an awesome Pokemon, and it that I what was it? Ice Beam, Surf, and or was it Water Pulse? Probably wa it was Water Pulse, but water I pulse. love I love Milotic too. Actually, my first encounter 
in my white randomizer, Aptalugia was a Milotic, which I call Leviathan. And it had Volt and it had um lightning rod, so it was only weak to grass. Oh, that's insane. That's actually like that is probably the luckiest thing that you could have. That's so cool. I know, it was really good. Damn. GG's man, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. I'm a big I, I am a big Steven fan. And then uh the lore between Steven and Cynthia, it just that just made sense to me. That they apparently they, they were dating. I don't know how confirmed or true it is, but I think they're they're an item and it's really cool because like champion of Helen and the champion of Sinnoh getting together. That's cool, man. That's that's gold. <laughs> yeah, that's some gold. That's some golden uh lore there. Ugh. But all right, um ghost um to your to your knowledge what is the very like when you think about your pokemon journey in life what was that very first memory you can recall when it came to pokemon like what when you think about it what is the first thing that comes to mind and like what's the very like i said the first thing that you can remember when it comes to experiencing pokemon for the first time first time um i think it was what was it? I think my sister, when we were young, had Pokemon Blue. So like Blue was like the first game that I ever played, and I don't, I, I, I don't know where the hell she got it. I don't know if like my parents got it for her. I don't, I don't remember what happened. She got it from a friend, but I remember looking at that. I was like, dude, this is so cool. And then I started watching the anime. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna steal this game from my sister. Like I know the game that she was playing. Like I, like I've seen this. This is so cool. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go steal her game, put it in my Game Boy, and I booted it up, man. Got like super. I was like, "Oh, this is so cool!" Uh, walked into the lab for the first time, picked the Squirtle because I thought I was supposed to pick the thing on the back of the the cover. Uh huh. And uh, picked Squirtle, and I was like, "Yo, this is it. This is this is what I love to see." Got through the game, and then I got stuck at Cerulean City, I think, for a while because I didn't know I had to go visit fucking bill but oh my god but yeah man i think blue was blue was my first in, in ever encounter of 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 pokemon and <laughs> i i thought uh, clearly i've been in love with it since I, it died down a little bit after like hoenn because i was like oh i don't want to get rid of hoenn hoenn's the greatest games like screw diamond screw pearl like screw the ds like that's all stupid <laughs> to me <laughs> wow uh give yourself something to drink hydrate oh sorry sorry thank you cheers try <clears throat> Cheers. But, um, yeah, man. Freaking uh, blue, blue is where it started, and then I uh, like obviously collecting like some TCG stuff. Like that was super cool. Uh, and hold on, had hold a... on a second. For sure. All right. Yeah. What about you? All right. Um, I always bring this up. So the first thing I can recall was like uh, watching a a DS um um a VHS feature with three of the, some of the OG Pokemon episodes. Uh, the three episodes that were on that specific VHS was um Pokemon Shipwrecked, the Isle of the Giant Pokemon, and Tentacool and Tentacruel, which fun fact is now a banned episode in the United States. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. So after watching that, I was just like completely mesmerized by Pokemon. Like this was like I just thought this was so cool and so on um, like just so out of the ordinary because I never watched anything like this before. Because I never really I never like this was technically my first anime because I never really right. knew I didn't know what anime was and I just thought it was really cool. I just thought it was just a cartoon. So yeah, that's um, the same. I, yeah, so I, I started watching it um, whenever it came on TV, and then I got introduced to the card game, and I even to this day I still don't know how to play it. I just like collecting the cards. I mean, for the past couple of years at least. Yeah. But um, uh, after that, um, it uh, was uh, I was six or seven. I finally started playing the games. Like I said, I first played Sapphire. I didn't um actually start the game. I just took it over from a friend, and I just started KOing everything with a Swampert. And um, I I played a little bit of Red, but I didn't actually finish it until like years, years, years later on this channel. But um, but yeah, um, first Pokemon game I started and completed was leaf green and just like you with like choosing squirtle on blue i i chose venusaur for leaf green because pfft, that was also the game where i found my first shiny in the form of a shiny hop yo nice 
Yeah, people give me That's shit for that because nobody likes Hop It, but I like it because it was my first shiny and I, I'm, I'm emotional. I'm emotionally attached to it. Dude, I'm telling. You, listen, shiny Hop Hip. I get it. It's 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 just a green blob that has that has leaves in the air. Cool. I hate on it. That's fine. But Scarlet Violet this is the first shiny I found. That was super. Like I was I was doing a like a blind Nuzlocke because like I didn't look up the game at all. I was like I'm disconnecting from the internet. I have a I have a goal. I have a plan. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna just Nuzlocke blind. That was stupid, by the way. Don't do it blind because. Yeah, well, how do you think how do you think I felt when I blind when I blind Nuzlocke Insurgents? Yeah, that's pretty bad. I actually bet I do have plans to play Insurgents. I've never played it yet, but it's it's that's something it's, on my to do list. It it's real it's really good. Trust me, like it's like one of the best fan games I've played so far. That Xenoverse, like top tier fan games. Nice. I'm in there. I'm I I'll do those. I definitely want to. But Hop It, dude, it was the first shiny I found. And I found another freaking shiny Hop It in the, in the Evolutions Nuzlocke I got going on. I'm like, dude, this, is, <laughs> this thing's a freaking goat. Let's go. It makes, it, goat, it makes it feel bounce. better. I found five shinies in my Scarlet Dark Lock. All of them were off screen. Oh, God, man. No shiny charm either. They were full odds random encounters. Yes, that's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, so sad. And then Noah's just like, oh, no proof. Like, get out of here. I got the, I got it in the box. It's my, it's my freaking OT. That's all the proof you need. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. Okay, so, um, this is normally the part of the show where we do the emote elaboration, but Ghost has asked me that we just kind of skip this section of the show. And uh, as the as the host, I would like to respect the guest's wishes. So this time we are not going to be doing the emote elaboration. I didn't ask why because I want to respect the man's privacy. So we're not doing the emote elaboration today, unfortunately. I that, man. So I apologize Sorry. if that upsets anybody, but I like to respect the guest's wishes. Thank you, and I do apologize, y'all. It's just I I got nothing for it. <laughs> hey, you're perf you're perfectly fine, man. You're perfectly fine. Thank but you. but aside from the, but instead of that, we can just jump straight into our shared experiences category. So let me first off, let me see if I can actually do this do this uh, properly over here, so that way you can uh, see what exactly we're gonna be doing here. Let me see if I can do this without breaking my computer. Actually, no, that's not gonna work because I have to like reposition you. Yeah, I'll, I'd have to like reposition you and everything for that. Okay. All right. So uh, I just, mean, I could just I can I can watch on sc uh, stream. Yeah, just kind of pull me up and uh, like I'll stay I'll stay quiet for when uh, you know when when uh, we could do this. So just uh, let me. Let, this is gonna look a little bit weird for a sec. So I'm uh, just uh, bear with me for a moment. And here we go. So I did these in chronological order from um, youngest to oldest for both of us so this is your first clip and this is actually from yesterday because i need because no somebody clipped it and it was i i redid the clip because it, it didn't it didn't get the true encapsulation of what happened and i know that's i know that's like oh he clipped his own thing i was like no no, no. Th this is something that was super stupid super funny and i need I, I need the i need the proof of what happened because like i can ex you could just like sit there and listen to me explain what happened but you will not understand what actually happened until you see it. Yeah, like, uh, like there, there is no shame in clipping anything yourself because I've had to clip a, a lot of stuff for my upcoming channel trailer, which um, I don't know when exactly that's going to be released, guys. But um, all I know is that I got all the clips for it. I got the, I got the plan for it, and we just need to get it made. So there. But anyway, um, let's watch this. Um, um, again, uh, mods and VIPs of the Poké Network, please let me know if this is either too loud or too soft so I can uh, adjust the volume as we need to go. So, let's watch this. Oh, God. No! 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 First off, I want context. So, what exactly is going on here? So, I'm doing this... Th I'm doing this, uh, this challenge where... I was like, you know, I love Emerald, right? Like, we love... We love Hoenn. I've said it before. Um, so I had plans to do crowd control, right? And so let's just be honest. Like, I was an idiot. We we put a Geodude against the Shroomish. Obviously, that's bad news bears. Let's be honest. I can, I, I'll admit it. It was bad news bears. 
We got put the sleep turn one, woke up, hit it again, and then we got poisoned. <laughs> but this is a crowd control version of Emerald, and we beat the trainer. Like, clearly we're in front of the trainer. We beat her. Geodude is killing it. He's alive. I'm about to potion up antidote. Like, we're about to go heal my man. And then somebody decided to redeem hop in place for 10 seconds. <laughs> and this is where the clip comes in. Okay, let's watch. No, no, this is terrible. This is terrible. No, 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 no. no! What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh. It wasn't uh, even my fault. I've. In all honesty, this may be, like, I'm not saying disrespect to you, but this may be the dumbest way I've ever seen a Pokemon die in a Nuzlocke. Dude, you have no idea. The Like, you asked for three. I was like, buddy, I there are so many catastrophes in these Nuzlocke. Like, it's it's not, like, it's not even me. I had, I had a Shedinja come out, like, oh my god, dude. It, I, so I was doing the Ghost Lock before. It was, uh, I, I, I screwed up. I put, um, what was it? I put Aegislash in on an Arcanine because that was my lead. What? And I used King Shield because I didn't want to get hit, right? It yeah. roared me in snow and it randomly brought out Shedinja. Guess what happened? <laughs> Shedinja got hit with hell. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, what the oh, actual man. hell? Oh my god, this sounds just like when Shine Patrol was doing his Emerald was doing his uh his freaking platinum Kaizo run with uh Snorlax and freaking a little guy endeavored him and the sandstorm took out his Snorlax. Oh god, that's <laughs> Yo, it's so sad. I'm sorry. Especially because that Snorlax was so broken. Like it had like over it had like I think like over 300 a uh, base attacks. It had like over 300 att attack points and special attack. And it had ice beam like freaking um ice beam uh psycho. Uh, I don't remember, but I know it had ice beam and flamethrower. I know that. So that thing was fucking busted. Yeah, co it had coverage, dude. That thing is hitting. Yeah, I know. It oh, was that's so sad. Yeah, that was crazy, but. What the actual Yeah, and then we went to go shit? check, make sure that what I just saw was real. <laughs> Those count as steps? Yeah, hopping counts as steps. <laughs> oh my god, that was... That was something, that was something. I didn't know it counted as steps, that was so stupid. Alright, well, this one came from your evolution lock. Yeah, this is so we're on attempt two right now because um so you know how you you're not the biggest fairy fan. What did what happened? Well, I forgot my answer to the dark types and Gaia Como fucking wiped me because I I so I, I it's a hardcore nuzlocke. You have to do the level cap. Gaia Como had twenty one level cap, and I was like, oh crap. Sylveon's at level 21. I don't want to go in there, battle the battle the little Pokemon, and... You can go, like, yeah, the, 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 level the little Pokemon don't give you experience. I forgot, and I went in there, battled the Pokemon, and realized I didn't have Sylveon, so I had to use those those, those three that you see on screen, plus a Leafeon to beat Gaia Como, and Noxious, that, the, uh, the, the dark, what was it, the dark... Like Starmobile, Starmobile. Just, sh just shredded me to pieces. I was like, I fucking Ouch. hate this game. So GG's on your behalf, but yeah, I forgot Sylveon and lost. So we're on attempt two right now. And uh, this was the first attempt. Then this was a super late stream too, but yeah, this is uh, this is what happened here. Are you shiny? No! 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 No!
I love that reaction. As a person that is not a Nuzlocker, I mean, as a person that's not a main shiny hunter, finding a random shiny that you love, that is that is a perfect, genuine, unexpected reaction. So kudos to you on that one. Thank you. Rose told Rose was like, my freaking ears, Rose in chat. Like you could see in the text box, she's like, my eardrums. I'm like, I'm sorry. Well, well, I, well, thank God you weren't there today about Dark Ride because I probably would have deafened you. Dude, that clip is legendary, though. I love that clip. It the second so it good. popped up, I like, I didn't even hesitate to throw my hat off my head because I was just grasping onto my head. Yeah, dude. But, uh, you know, because we wiped that ghastly has gone. Ow. Wait, you have to reset over that? You didn't, like, put it in home first? Nope. Dude, I would have, dude, I would have done that in a heartbeat. Yeah, I said this was the run, and I guarantee we're not losing the ghastly. Ouch, karma or um, no, jinxing no. yourself. No, this this is even worse though because so I did a let's go Eevee playthrough where I had to do like like stupid dares and stuff if I lost a Pokemon. Like it wasn't like a Nuzlocke, but if you a P Pokemon faints, I got to do a dare, and um. I'm in lavender. I'm in lavender tower, like the Pokemon Tower, dude. And again, a random full odd shiny Ghastly appears, but I'm already in walking steps animation down the steps. Oh, so, uh, so I this D Ghastly is the bane of my fucking existence. Like I love that thing. I love it shiny, but I am never getting a shiny Ghastly. It is. It is just not plausible for me. It's, there's just no luck in the world that's gonna give me a ghastly. Damn. I mean, when I did my S, when I did my SBQ and let's go, I I was going for a like my rule was any shinies that that came before my target, I had to just let go. But I was going for my magic carp and I and a freaking two percent shiny Dratini popped up. So I had to break my own rules. You have to that that you had to you had to that yeah, I mean, that's too legendary. I mean, I didn't use it for the run, but I had to restart my, my Magikarp chain. <laughs> yeah, but, but hey, man, that's still, that's still something. Okay, I actually didn't watch this clip, so this is actually going to be my first time seeing this. All the, the only thing that was thing said, did someone say cracked X, um, with the XD face? So I want to see what this is. Someone say crack. <laughs> Not funny. Not <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit! No! What happened? No! No! Oh my god, dude! My fucking controller fell! My controller fell! And I like caught it! Oh! I wanna say. That may be worse than Drip, than Joy Con Drip failing a shiny. <laughs> How? Yeah, dude. What? <laughs> So, so I was doing a ghost only challenge in uh, in Soul Silver. It was a randomizer, completely randomizer. If that's the so, case, then where did the shiny Vespa Queen come from? Because that was the freaking Gyarados. <laughs> oh God! That, so I just I, put, did, I put it on the team. Well, I I found my Gyarados was a Rattata and it roared me. That's depressing. All right. Yes, so least, I featured it in the last Vespa show. Queen. At least I got the uh, the shiny Vespa Quinn. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, freaking Torchic had rollout, and my plan was to switch because I was like, oh, do we hit it? No, it outspeeds us. Clearly, clearly, it outspeeds yeah, us. Yeah, I love level fifty-five level Torchic. <laughs> yeah, and um, I like we were just like somebody said crack, I was like, Haha, crack, and like. I hit my controller off the table and I, like try to catch it, but because I caught it, I hit the A button and it clicked surf. And it was on like turn three of rollout, so I was guaranteed death. Okay, and... so um, I don't like to share this fact because um, when I was doing the dark ride catch, or when I was just sitting there waiting for dark ride to go, the 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 black the 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 darker screen popped up, seeing your inactive screen. I pressed. I, I wanted to go press the X button, but I went. I accidentally pressed the B button, and it went to the run thing. And I was like, "Okay, I can't fuck this up. I have to catch it now because I was about to fuck up the biggest catch of my life." Buddy, go. <laughs> yes, I, I, Yo. I am. I am ashamed to admit that, 
but it did that's what I, that's what i almost did because i wasn't like my fingers were moving faster than my mind yeah you're like oh my god oh my god and then <laughs> well i did i did i barely pressed the b button and i was like oh fuck oh fuck okay i can't fuck this up i need to catch it right now and thank god i my mind thought before my fingers got, yeah you got you got there together okay all right all right so because um because ghost is a nuzlocker i had to scone my catacombs for some nuzlocke for some nuzlocke clips of my own so i got three for you thanks buddy i appreciate you so this one came from my ult my most recent randomizer my ultra sun randomizer it's the ultra necrozma battle and All right, I you know and the way i set this up um any trainer or special pokemon that was post level 35 would yeah. have been fully evolved so this could have been anything between a, fir a first stage or a second stage or a three stage fully evolved pokemon a mythical a legendary this could have been anything but all right. and plus all of its stats are boosted by one so oh god when you I will be a little when bit you delayed. Do, when you randomize this one specifically the the sprite could look like anything whatever you randomize it to the sprite could look really really messed up all right so here's what mine looked like here's what mine did fully evolved with all of its all stats right, boosted see. by I one i am delayed so let's see what is it? What? <laughs> what? What was with the cross-legged go-goat? What? What is with its go- What the- What, what? the cross-legged go-goat? What was that? What the hell? You saw that? What the hell was it? I know- oh, Look, yeah. like, look. See, look. Bro, what was it? Cross-laid Jesus Go-Goat. My man is coming down. Like, literally the most, like, like, the most, like, holy thing coming down. Like, I am the goat. This thing, like, this thing blew up on YouTube Shorts. Like, I, this is, like, my most viewed YouTube Short to date. I think it has almost 10k views at this point. Nice, man. Congrats. Yeah, but still. Um, also, fuck this goat because it had, like, okay, so in this run... I had my Genesect, one of my aces. Somehow, nearly every fucking time I sent out my Genesect, whatever I sent it out to, it had a fucking fire move. And Genesect's quad weak to fire only. And guess what? This thing with all of its stats boosted by one, oh code Ritzels, the, the Genesect, with a fusion flare. Yo. That is so depressing. Yes, very depressing. Because like Genesect is also like a, a meme around my channel because I got like a like two boxes in my in my in my shield file full of them. And every time I go in to use Masuda, they're like, dude, where are all your where did all those Genesects come from? <laughs> and I keep telling them that uh, I was bored and I reset over the mythical Genesect event a hundred times in my Alpha Sapphire copy and I got like a hundred Genesect. Damn. That's still no shiny. <laughs> Uh, no, they're shiny lock, but that was a, it was a, it was like I said, I was just bored. Yeah, just going for it. Nice, All right. man. So this one, whew, I, I honestly don't like remembering this run because this one, this is the run that pissed me off so much that I genuinely almost stopped it because I was raging so much. A hard gold metronome only run. And I kid you not. Actually, I'll just let I'll just let my past me say my my feelings for what just happened. So, sure. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. The one lunar dance. All right. Been screwing me this it's entire just run. Just it's gone. Let's go. <laughs> You know what? Free kick it, dude. No, did, no, did you listen to what I said? Uh, I, maybe you're a little quiet. I'm sorry. Like, all right. So what happened was nearly every time I was fainting in this run, 60% of the time, it was because I landed on either Lunar Dance, 
memento or explosion. Oh, shit. Like, 60% of the time. Alright, yeah, play it back, because I definitely didn't hear that. <laughs> the one move that has been screwing me this entire run takes out his Dragonite. <laughs> you know what? Free can't get it. <laughs> See? Dude, that, well played, though. Yeah, I... Uh, like, there was, like... This, like I said, this run... It tested me big time. Like, you see my team right there where it has... I only have my Magnazone and my Lantern with only one life left. I walked yeah. into the Elite Four with everyone. My team fully stacked with two lives each. And Bro, most of those no. deaths came from fucking Memento and Lunar Dance. Dude, fuck Memento. <laughs> Such a, a terrible move. Yes. That's crazy. Yes, it is crazy. I mean, watch... I mean... Oh, shit. Uh, I also like screwed up here personally because yeah, I had a I had, I was feet. Floor. Anywho, can't can can't can't kick a little can't can't tell you as a madman. Fuck you, stupid dragon knight. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was so like I was so out. I was so into it. I just started doing a can can't dance because I was so happy that the dragon knight killed itself. It, dude, because think about it. Like, what are you what are you really killing with that thing? Probably nothing. All the moves that like you could pull upon to kill that. Not not good odds for you, but Lunar Dance on the Dragonite, dude, that is... What's the word I'm looking for? That's like, uh... I don't want to say karma, it's like justice is certain. Yes, I would say justice. Justice. <laughs> the same thing happened with Claire's, uh, the same thing happened with, well, at, same move, I mean, same basic, basic move, but different one, like, um, the Claire's, uh, Kingdra self-destructed, and I almost did the same thing. Yo, but that's still, still, that's, whew. oh man, that's scary shit. Yeah, that, like I said, this run definitely tested my patience. It definitely tested my patience. So, all right, okay. so this one's more of a, this one's more of a funny clip where I'm like disgusted about things. I actually, I think this is the stream that I think this may be the stream either before or after I surpassed my first thousand. And nice. I'll, I'll just add context to this. I... I am completely disgusted by Lickitung with every fiber of my being. Another kickable Pokemon? I wouldn't say kickable, but just make don't let it exist ever again. And I will say this, I am surprised I stayed in character because when I'm when I'm donning that costume, I I talk in this weird accent and I don't like be who I normally am. Going for the, you, you gotta play your role. Yeah, but I'm just surprised I stayed in character. So watch what ha watch what happens. She wrote for sure. Oh my god! No! 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 I can't! I just can't! No! I can't! Oh my god! I can't! Is this sped up? Yes, it's sped up. Oh god, it makes it 30,000 times worse! Oh god, I can't! Oh my god, it's so gross! I was grinding. Oh my god, that's the. Oh, don't say grinding, damn it! Oh Not with the lick of tongue! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my. Oh god. Oh god, that's insane, dude. Oh my god. That is it crazy! Watch this, keep watching. Yep. So much. That's why. Oh my god. Yes, that was so much worse sped up. Oh my god, there it is again! She wrote. After the horde tortured me, a random one popped up. Dude, what are the odds? Holy crap. I don't know what the odds were of that, but I'm just saying, like, that was one of the most, like, that was genuinely one of the one times on stream where I was genuinely grossed out. Like, cause like I, I said, I was, I was just, I was just prepping for the league and all of a sudden this whole horde of lick of tongues pops up and I'm just completely dumbfounded and disgusted. Dude, I do not blame you one freaking bit. Cause, oh my yeah, God, days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my, 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 my mod just said like, sorry, you came in on the tongues. Like there was one time where we were doing, uh, <laughs> there was one time where we were doing group activities in the, uh, 
in the uh, Grand Underground, and yeah. on my screen, I walked into a room, and her avatar was like fused with a lick of tongue. Oh no! Yeah, Ew. and the, and the tongue was like facing her front, so the tongue was like coming out of of the front. The front. Yeah. So yeah, that was a that was a very weird day. I will say that. <sighs> But um, I don't. I'd be. I'd feel so uncomfortable. I, I, dude, first of we all, were. congrats to you on 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 sticking to the on sticking to the bit because holy shit, I would have been like, no, no, screw that, no, I'm done. Like I'm out. Like I'm out. Like fuck that. Like I don't need it. I don't need that. Nobody, nobody needs this in their life, especially exactly. unconsented. Yeah, that was a. Uh, yeah, like I said, that was like pff, that was that was definitely a something about that. All what right, happens well, if you find a shiny though in that in um, the horde? I would have killed it. He said, "No, screw that." I hate, I hate like a tongue shiny too, because it goes to goes to a piss yellow, and I hate it. Yeah, it is gross. Oh my, never mind. I just, I just went like down a dark thought. I was like, "Yo, what if this is like yeah. in lieu of something?" Oh god, never mind. I'm out. Yeah, never mind. All right, well, because we're both nut, like because we are a nuzlocker, like what is like, in your opinion, what is like the grandest achievement you've had as a nuzlocker? Like, is there like one run you can name that was like? Like really tested you as a nuzlocker, but you actually completed it, or is there just like one that you love to remember and go back on, saying, "Huh, this was like one of my coolest runs ever." Uh, I think, uh, again, going back to Hoenn. <laughs> so I did a um, I asked people in chat like what the like what they thought the worst letter was, and we came to the conclusion that W was the worst letter, and essentially what happens is. Yeah, toast is on it. <laughs> w is the worst letter. Okay. And I decided to do a Nuzlocke where I can't use Pokemon with the letter W, like in the name at all. Like it, not like starting with W. Like if it has a W in there at all, it's it is not allowed to be used. Okay. If like so, like if I get Wurmple, I can't catch it. So you can't. So you so you didn't have the rule where if the Pokemon could evolve into a Pokemon that didn't have the letter, you still couldn't catch it. Correct. So if I caught, like, uh, I'm trying to think of which one it was, because there was one that has a W in its, like, middle Evo. I don't remember specifically, but, um, like, essentially, if, I, if it, if, if it w was base form, had no W, I could catch it. But if it evolves into something with a W, I'm not allowed to use that thing that it evolved into. But if it goes into something that isn't a W, I could technically EXP share it. Like really, really like technical, like- It's like, it's like, like a type lock where if you catch Pokemon that's not like that specific type, but it evolves into the type, you can't use it until it evolves into that set Pokemon. Yeah, sort, it, it pretty much. But again, like if it's a Wurmple that I encountered, I'm not allowed to catch it because it's, gotcha. a, it's a W. Gotcha. But what happened was, um, that that kind of like tested me because there's a lot like not a lot of pokemon but swampert's off the table like i'm not gonna run it i'm not gonna yeah, run that would have been worse because i i love using swampert in a gen 3 nuzlocke you have to it's the only choice it's the i only know choice. but we uh we went with uh we went with blaziken or like we went with torchic and i screwed up and didn't evolve it because i was afraid that it's like fighting type would be weak to um what was it? Uh, M M Metatite? Because that's what Brawly had. And I yeah. ended up losing it before the Brawly fight. I was like, well, this was just a fucking waste anyway of picking the starter. Would have just did would have just done better with Marsh Stomp and, 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 and Mudkip. But that was probably one of the most fun Nuzlocks I, I've done because uh chat was really into it. Uh, it was it was a real crowning achievement beating beating Wallace with a team that had no W's. And I don't know, I, it was just really fun. We got through the E4, no problem. And then we got to, uh, who was it? Who was it? I think, I think Drake, dude. I had, my, my answer for uh, the, the, the Kingdra was Tentacruel. Tentacruel had three Reflex up on itself. So like, we're, we're surviving everything. Except a crit. And oh. I'm like, dude, a crit is not gonna happen. A crit's not happening. Next turn, it fucking crit me, and I lost my answer for Ludicolo 
to the to the Wallace fight. I was like, dude, I don't Ouch. know how I'm gonna win this now. So coming through clutch on that one was was super fun. It was super good, and I I, I was super super excited about it. That was a big that was a big like crowning achievement for me. That was a good one. Thanks, man. It was it was super fun. I plan to do more like series like that. I think I think the next one is L. So Blaziken's off the table. Sceptile's off the table. Ooh, dang. But that's Still, yeah, at least you get to use Swapper because, this time. That's what I'm saying. We're in there. <laughs> uh, I like to actually. I like to call Swapper Force Steel. Don't ask why. That's just what nickname it came up. Forge Steel sounds good. Though. Force like F O R C. Oh, force. E. force Steel. Nice. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but yeah, like if I can go into the Nuzlocke stories, um. There was I've had a great number of Nuzlocks on my channel. Like my like my main care my main skit for a while was the Dark Lock series, which I recently brought back. It was where I have gone into every previous Pokemon game and current ones where I was only allowed to use only dark type Pokemon or Pokemon that can evolve into dark types. Right. And like I can only capture one of each. Um I, I kind of followed the hardcore rules to an extent. Uh, I used uh, level caps and I can only capture one of each. But I gave every Pokemon three lives. I can only use a limited number of heals per battle. Um, I did um for most of them I didn't I didn't allow EV training, but for future ones that can do it, I'd have. Yeah. But um I was able I've so far cleared Galar, Alola, Kalos, Unova, Sinnoh, Paldea. All with nothing but my my teams of dark types, and I think, in all honesty, the one I'm probably the proudest of is probably my black two dark lock because that one, my friend, even though I edited in a high dragon as my starter, well, Dino yeah. as my starter, that thing, like that game, was menacing. <laughs> like literally, my my Sorry. final E4 team, like three, like four of the six only had were on their last life, including my high dragon. So if I didn't outspeed. Oh, if, if, if my high dragon didn't outspeed um iris's one i would have been screwed but thank god it did so i was able to win um that battle nice, <laughs> and man. it also gave me newfound respect for dark ties i never used for like mandibuzz um yeah it, weak armor mandibuzz is actually pretty decent because you can do a few iron defenses and then it gets hit which its speed will be boosted then so after its defense is like you know back to normal and it speeds up by four you can just clear through everything that's what i used yeah. uh for uh that's what i did for the uh like that's what i did for the uh the marshall fight because that was the only pokemon i could have used against marshall and if that thing got ko'd whew, i would have been in trouble ggs yeah <laughs> that's so cool man well played that's such a Man, I feel like, man, like, again, like, it's because it's not, like, an Ubers mon. It's not, like, an OU mon, but it's it's still, like, there's a lot of good Pokemon out there that just don't get used, like, often. Yeah. Probably the most emotional one was my X, was the Y Dark Lock, the one I just showed you. Um, because this was technically the home region, the homeland of my character's backstory. Well, a far away land that was in the vicinity of Kalos. Um, oh, that's cool. But then, um, what happened was, I everyone knows, like you probably know this, Wobbuffet fucking sucks when it comes to Nuzlocks. And unfortunately, my Frogadier was on its last life, and unfortunately, oh, no. I ran into a fucking Wobbuffet. And guess what? I lost yeah. my Frogadier, which means I couldn't use Greninja, my face, second favorite Pokemon of all time, for this run. What happened? Did you get Destiny Bond or did you get uh, Mirror Coded countered? I got like I was a fifty fifty shot and I got Mirror Coded. No. Oh God, that sucks. Yeah, that's a sad thing. Yeah, that was sad because like Greninja is in like the the crest of my Dark Kingdom. Yeah, like he is. He's a, he's a staple. He yeah, he's a staple Pokemon, and he's my third, my second, my second Pokemon of all time. So I was devastated that I couldn't use it in the one game I could. But um, I'm going back into my Dark Lock of Scarlet into the DLC, and I got my Greninja back. Nice, dude. So I am going to be using it um, the next time I do that. Hell yeah, man! That's gonna be super exciting. Oh, that's, I'm sorry about the loss, dude. Wobbuffets are. Yeah, but that was uh, that was crazy.
But in all honesty, probably my favorite nuz probably the most probably my favorite like nuzlocke out of all of them that I've done so far. Probably the one that I like the most. It's like it's like a toss up between my blood what my 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 alpha sapphire bloodlock and probably probably my probably my sword surprise my sword surprise lock because uh like i said i did a shield surprise lock but none of the footage was recorded or kept so i decided to do one in sword because it was cool what was cool was that one of my viewers actually traded with me and i got oh, a six iv adamant natured gut set obstagoon for the run that's tough that's super yeah. sick man yo yeah but the same person that sent me that or able to trade me that designed the blood lock which was a almost like it was a fully randomized version of alpha sapphire the types were random the abilities were random the move sets were random um no random sense. evolutions though but all my pokemon had three lives that's where the game I found the shiny Mencino. And it's also where I gained a newfound respect for a water flying type lightning rod fairy inform thunderous. I called it Geeko. That is sick. I know. It was it was like it was the MVP of the team. It was so cool. Yo, but, that's uh, crazy. But yeah, if you don't mind my asking, what's a blood like? What what makes it a blood lock? Like, what's the the rule set specifically with that the, one? The guy's the guy's nickname was Ragna Blood, so I called it the Blood Lock. Oh God, <laughs> that's crazy. The guy was that's more cool. the guys the guy was notorious for making completely crazy challenge runs. Like one time he did one in my in my Discord, and he also randomized aside from typings and abilities, he also randomized the stats, and he he battled Hala with a Swampert. And the Swapper just cleared his entire team. What happened was it was a dark flying type. It had a flying gem. After the flying gem was used up, um, acrobatics just, just cleared through everything. Its base attack stat was 900 with huge power. What the actual hell, yo? That is... Dis I don't know if that's disgusting, disturbing, discomforting. I mean, we joked around with him when we called him a masochist, oh, but uh, he always denied it. No, that's that's masochist behavior. <laughs> <laughs> you, come on, you have huge power. Come on, what did you? What is that? Using up the flying gem on a flying move? It like, oh god, that's yeah. But acrobatics, because after the item was used up, it doubled in power. Power. Yep, that's fucking insane. Oh yeah, that's disgusting. Um, but yeah, I also got, I also got to give credit to my type lock with my boy with my boy Shrix. We do plan to actually go back into it once it's able to start streaming again, and it'll be like we, we haven't like we haven't formally discussed the details, but the way we're planning it is once he's able to start streaming again, it's gonna be Dark Depths versus Fertile Lands Part Two, um, or as edition. Oh, that's gonna be sick. Because we did it in Ruby and Sapphire initially, so we're gonna see who is the true king of Ruby and Sapphire between the two of us. Hopefully it's you, man. Let's go. Well, I won. I won last time thanks to Wallace's oh, mother dick. Let's go two zero. Let's go. Let's I know. Go. I won. Go. I I won last time thanks to my thanks to his mother dick. But yeah. Um. I I also said this later. Um. The thing is, I I got a gimmick with random with with my challenge runs. I call it face paint finales. Yeah. So like, what what's up with that? Like you saw how I had face paint on with yeah. the that with my with my white dark lock one the one you just the clip you just saw. Yeah. So I initial that was initially a one off with War Paint because I was going up to war against Team Rainbow Rocket in my Ultra Moon Dark Lock. So I decided that every time I would plan to finish a Dark Lock, um, every time I plan to finish a Dark Lock, I was gonna do the same War Paint. But for every other challenge run, I decided to to take my things and just make a unique War Paint for each one. So that's why Face Paint Finale is a thing. I didn't do it for the, the metronome lock because I was just pissed off at that run. I just wanted to get rid of it. But, I don't blame you. <laughs> but yeah, I've done face paint finales for pretty much every Nuzlocke run I've done since the Ultra Moon Dark Lock. Nice man. But that's, yeah, that's my that's gimmick. That's super cool. I love no, that's I I love that gimmick. It's super cool. That's super dope. Yeah, I don't. And, I don't uh, think I have like a gimmick like that. Well, not like face paint specifically. Well, you had that headband on during one of those clips. So, what do you do? Like, he like do it like uh, um, absorb. I do. I do like um, like I have like a no hat redeem. Like I usually wear a hat. Um, 
but actually I haven't really been wearing the hat as much. Like I, because I didn't want to. I was actually gonna wear my my personal fedora that I'm for the Evolutions Nuzlocke, but I try to like be as close to the your your character is as possible. Look, I yeah. had one guy be but the complete just... opposite of me because he was dressed up like a fairy type and he had three hats stacked on top of each other on. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that guy was <laughs> what that a guy legend. was cool. Yeah, he was a legend. Lokimon's a cool guy. All right. Well, um, so, all right. So next thing I like to, like, the next, second to last thing I like to discuss about the podcast is uh, any relevant Pokemon news that's relevant, but there isn't really anything at the moment. So I found a few, I found a few articles um, about some like recent known um, discoveries in the Pokemon community. So I'm going to share those now. So the first one is actually this. Uh, somebody found a unique detail with um, Crispin's uh, Battle Arena, the Fire type guy from the Indigo from the Indigo Disc. Right. If you look at his, if you look at his arena from the side, take a look at that. Anything look familiar to you? That looks. What does that look like? Hold on, you know me. It looks like a you... frying pan on a burner. Kind of, yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, somebody, somebody recently discovered this, uh, like a little, little bit of an Easter egg. This was only like two days ago. So this thing, like, because cool. Crispin has a frying pan, his whole arena looks like a frying pan on a burner. I love that, though. That's niche. That's so uh, cool. Yeah, it is cool. Okay, um, also, here's another question. Have you played Infinite Fusions yet? Yeah, I, I actually have. I was doing, I did a hardcore Nuzlocke one time, and uh, I, had a, uh, I had a redeem up where I can't use super effective moves, and like, I can only use single move slots. So I, st I stopped doing that for hardcore Nuzlocke because it's, it's just too unbearable. Like, it's, it's yeah. so, instantaneous death. Someone made this art design of the original 151, it says 152, so I'm thinking they included uh, missing no. Um, all in one giant fusion thing. I need to, you guys need to see this to believe it. Is this the thing where, I don't think I've seen the full result, but like someone just like kept adding things to it like each time? Yeah, look at this thing. This thing is, this thing is, this thing is ridiculous. Look at this. Look how crazy oh this thing is. This is Infinite Fusions times infinity right here. And I don't even, like, I don't even see Missing No in here. If it's, if it's the original 152, it's 151. Oh I don't God. see Missing No. Unless it's in the yeah. wings. <laughs> what the hell this is up with Hitmonlee's legs, yo? <laughs> Just dangling. Look, look at Dotrio. It freaking, like, it, look at Dotrio. It took up, like, a whole section of its back tail. Yeah, was, oh my God, this is wild. Like we got, we got. Looks like we got Grimer or Muck in the wings, and we got freaking Cubone Skull with the Meowth amulet on a Dragonair, and freaking. Let's see, what's on the top there? We got Weeping Bell, we got Pidgeot, uh, Gasly, Psyduck. We got Dragonite coming out of a Slowbro tail. We got Fearow Head with Execute with Tauros tail. Then on the bottom uh, down here, we my got favorite freaking... there. Is, yeah, the Cubone. The Cubone is just. With the the Dragonair, I think that is the Cubone head Dragonair. Yeah. That's that's I, that's actually like a really cool design. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Then we got all this stuff at the front here. Look what they did the drag. Look what they did the Gyarados's face. Look what they did to it. Oh my god, that's like that's like uh, that's Poliwag, Caterpie, Tangela, Raticate, uh, Alakazam, the, Zapdos. Ugh. Uh, Oh man, look what they did to my boy. I love Yo, the frick is, It's the teeth, man. If I feel like I I, I feel like I could have somewhat been okay with it more so without the eradicate teeth. Hydrate. Oh, uh, uh okay. oh my god, I just noticed that freaking Storlax has freaking cannon nipples. Oh Jesus Christ. Alright, give me like 20 seconds to grab a uh a Oh bottle my god. Oh my god, like Snorlax nipples with Mew in the bat with Mew in the Kangaskhan pouch with Oddish leaves and oh my god, this is this is horrendous. <laughs> I mean I give props to whoever made this, but this thing can, this thing is wild. <laughs> this is one of the most wildest things I've probably ever seen. Oh my god, like hold on, what is like what is going on with Golbat over there? It, like what is going on with like what is going on with Golbat? 
Oh my, oh my, we even got Gengar's face in Arbok's body. Like, oh my god, look at this. This is crazy. <laughs> this is... It's, it says... It, I don't know if the guy could counter one not, but 152. Like, I don't see Missing No in here. Because if we count Missing No, that's 152. But I don't see Missing No in here. If I make, somebody can find Missing No, you give, you give, you tell me. Gyarados? <laughs> yeah, maybe I call it Gyarados. I don't know. But yeah, look, look, look at Snorlax, dude. It literally has fucking cannon nipples. Who's... Is that like... Blastoise I don't know. what? I don't know what... I don't know what that is, to be honest. I don't know what Blast... It's Blastoise with... I don't know what that is. I was gonna say... Is that Paris? Like, Parasect? I don't know. I can't tell. I cannot tell what that is. If somebody can identify what the breasts of Snorlax are, you, like, be my guest. I genuinely do not know. I'm trying to <sighs> think, man. Like, what, what giant mons have breasts like that? It may, not not even, it may not even be that. Maybe, like, shoulder pads or something. I genuinely don't know. I can't tell. Are those like Hitmonchan gloves coming out, like punching through? Like what? No, I don't. Th I don't think so. I cannot tell what that is. I can't. I don't. I, I. I'm genuinely stumped. I don't know what the hell it is. I was thinking like maybe it's like something something to do with Kingler, but I. I, I there's Kingler's claws like right above it. <laughs> yep, yeah. And there's Hitmonchan's hands at the bottom. Yeah. Exactly. What There's the Paris as the base. What orange Pokemon could it be? We have to, man, that's a lot to think. What orange Pokemon has, like, shapes like that? What Pokemon? You got me dumbfounded here. I'm dumbfounded, too. I don't know what it is. I'm going to be, I'm probably going to be stumped on it probably until I stop thinking about it. But, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, so, um... Yeah, nothing. So, this this is also something I asked uh, the uh, last last week's guest, Typhlosion Tycoon. Um, yep. Pokemon Day is coming up so, is coming up soon, and obviously we're gonna get some new game announcements. So, between what's speculating online, what do you want to see from the Pokemon Presents on Pokemon Day? I really don't want new game announcements, actually. I think it'd be really beneficial. Cause, so hear me out. If they're closing the 3DS store, like 3DS online and stuff, like why are we not going to put the, the old games on the Switch? I mean, maybe literally... that's what they're going to do. See if if that's if that's the case, right? Like I'm totally about it because we. So let's be let's be let's be like totally honest here. We were disappointed with Elka when they when they redid BDSP. Yes. Elka's pop. I feel like I feel like Elka's doing something with Gen Five because everyone's like, oh, Gen Five, Gen Five, Gen Five. I've said that, this it, again and again. If Elka does what they did the BDSP, I will boycott playing the games. I fucking hate Elka. I agree. I I don't like I. I I don't want to. I don't want to shit on somebody's art because it, you know, like it's it's their style. Like so be it, right? But the like, I, I'm not. I'm not judging them based on their art style. What I'm judging on is that it, they all they did was take the code of the original Diamond and Pearl and make it chibi. That's all they did. Yep. I and the and then movement move. Don't even get me started on the movement, dude. I hated getting stuck on a tree five miles away. Like you got to be kidding me, man. Like are you yes. serious? So I want I, I would that's why I want them to to put the old games on the Switch because it gives them time to de properly develop and like even if it is a copy paste you have the opportunity to give it the quality of life you have the chance to to be like okay here's where we where we fucked up on ilk or like uh, in BDSP here's how we could fix that and then here's our mistakes from like black and white right I I mean I don't know what it's gonna be right is it gonna be black white black white two like what. People Which are wanting um, people are people are wanting Legend Celebi or Legends Curum or Black Two White Two or Black or Black Three and White Three. <sighs> like, I think uh, a Legends. Fl Hear me out. There, there's been rumors about uh, Paldea and Kalos getting into war, into a, like a, the Poka War, which with the. That's the um, first time hearing about it. 
Really? Okay, so geographically, like Spain and France are very close. Yes. They're both in Europe. They're right there. And if if Kalos is based on France and uh, Paldea is based on Spain, I think because there's no there's no Gen Six anything anywhere about like there's nothing. There was no there was no Pokemon Z. That was a letdown. And I think if they want to do a Legends game, it should be Legends Floet. Because then we get access to AZ's Floet in-game for the first time, like they did with Arceus. And I think that would be something really cool. Gives, gives like, background to the war that happened between Paldea and Kalos. And I think that would be a really interesting thing if they did that. Hmm. But again, that's, that's me shooting a, a, a blind shot. But I, 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 that that would be really cool to me. I don't mind a Legends game. It's just, if you're going to make a Legends game, please take the time. Take take something from, pa like, not to bring Power World controversy into this, but people are really about Power World because of that's how Legends Arceus could have been, right? I know, we and, discussed it last time. Yeah, I, I, I never want to, like, re repeat. And I, I apologize if I made it seem like, oh, just like, oh, well, I don't want to. I, I like, I sometimes I try to make conversation flow as best I know, as this possible. is, I mean, this is what this show is all about. Discussing Pokemon topics, including some, um, including, like, the Pokemon killers, as people like to call them. Yeah, exactly. And it's just, it's, it, I think that, I think that's something that would be really interesting. I, I'm, I'm preaching for a Legends Flowette. Give me, give me access to AZ's Flowette. Make it a Pokemon that's busted, if if that's the case, right? Like, what what is so good about the Floet? Well, let's find the freak out, man. Like, why can't I get it in game? Like me personally, if they're gonna follow the same formula they did with BDSP and Legends Arceus, I'm expecting um, Gen Five remakes along with the Legends Curum game. If they follow yeah. the same formula, if they follow right. the same formula, but that would make sense too. Yes, but. I'm only saying this, if they do introduce Gen 10, they need to make sure that they don't release this game till at least the end of 2025 because they they rushed Scarlet and Violet like yep. I have nothing I've ever seen before. They rushed it and they did not fix any bugs. And even with the DLCs included, there were still bugs. Like when you get introduced to the biomes, there's still glitching areas in the game. So... It's like you never fixed the main issue to I, this yeah. day. After nearly two years on the market, you never fixed the one main issue. And because of that, people are still going to bitch and moan at you for years to come until you fix it, which they won't. Valid. I, I agree 100%. Like, fi let's, like think about it. How, how often are you flying back to Artisan? You're not. You're not anymore. No, you, you beat the game. You're not going back there. You are not going to run at three FPS. And they're just like, oh, well, you're not going back there. So we're not going to patch it. That to me is that to me is just a letdown because it's like that stops people from either playing the game over, doing something different. And like, it's it's a shitty it's a real shitty feeling, man. I mean, and that's I, why I'm, I'm really hoping they delay it. Like put the put the the old games out onto the switch. Be like, hey, we're bringing like it doesn't have to be everything. Like, I get it. We don't need Gen 4. You just, like, you did BDSP. Like, fine. Like, whatever. I, I'll, I'll bite the bullet there. But you could put Gens 1 through 3 on, on the Nintendo eShop. Let us play it. Because th there are so many kids out there. Per like, dude, like, we talked about how Hoenn, like, how sick Hoenn is. Like, there is Oras. Great. Could have been a better game, obviously, with the 3D mechanic. But, like, again, so be it. New hardware. I get it. But you have the opportunity to do something that the community would love. And it would be, you could ch literally charge like $30 for the fucking game. I don't even care. I get it. Like, people are like, oh, well, I already paid for the game. I don't have to pay again. Well, because, uh, whatever, reformatting. But that's neither here nor there about the price, because we know how Pokemon is on pricing. Yeah, I mean, but, when they, I mean, when they did, when they did the virtual console on the on the DS, they only charged like ten bucks a game. If they do, if they do the same thing with the Switch and give us, you know, classic Ruby Sapphire Emerald, and you know, various and like even Fire Red and Leaf Green, if they charge it for ten, like ten ninety nine or like nine ninety nine, they're gonna make a lot of money off it. They're I gonna agree. make a lot of money because 100%. people, because people like full odds hunters 
I mean, some, I mean, yes, there are, there are a lot of full odds hunters that have ways to stream with multiple switches, but for people who want to get into full odds hunting that don't have that, that, uh, technical capacity, giving us yeah. the axe, the ability to use switches and full odds shiny hunt Pokemon with the one in 8,000 odds, you're going to get a whole new market, but they don't care about that because they don't think shiny hunting is a valuable thing to the game nor do they think nuzlocks are a good part of the game that's why they don't include nuzlocke features with most fan like most fan games do but hey yeah. here we are doing what we love because we play pokemon the way we want to it's uh yeah and like i know that they they can't control how people play the game but if that's the case dude and you're aware like you're aware of that you're aware that they that you're not going to be able to control that why are you trying to like why are you like i get it you got you got to get the lore down you got to get the stories down so be it whatever there's a whole market of sh like i feel i feel like there's so many more shiny hunters on twitch than there are like like nuzlockers and maybe i'm tripping and i just haven't seen it but like i there, there it is a big it's an open market dude there are people who are literally generating pokemon for this shit because of that like, yes you will put the end to the generating, and then you won't have to worry about hack check. Well, I mean, you'll have to worry about hack checks on BC BGC, but you won't have to worry about, like, like fake mods and shit like that. Like, I don't... Uh, the, and I just want them to... It, oh, God. They'll, like you said, they'll make the money. It gives them so much time to perfect the game. The graphics were so shitty in Scarlet Violet. Like, I like... Hear me out. I like the story. I like the score, story in Scarlet Violet. I think terrestrialization is a very cool mechanic. I think it's very interesting and puts a new light on, okay, like, what could it terrestrialize into? Like, like could it be something ridiculous? Like, is it going to be something, you know, it's just, it's it's very cool. I like it, and I, it, it's just a letdown, man. It's a letdown. It was a real letdown. And I just yeah. hope that, like, they got, definitely, I agree. At minimum, at least talk about a patch. If you're gonna talk about a new, if you're gonna drop a new game and like shit on everything that everybody wanted, at least talk about a patch or an update for Scarlet Violet that's gonna fix the issues. Like I yeah, don't not... see what the big deal about is. Yeah, they always give us these patches about these minor issues that don't fix the core base of the problem, and people are just sick of it. Like every time I see a patch on game, it's like, oh, pfft, really? Another patch? I don't really give a damn. Until uh, like oh, somebody Pokeballs actually won't float. Oh, yeah, great, thanks. A, a Pokeball floating in the air—that's like the worst of my issues. Yeah, like, the Bell the Bell Awesomes and the Indigo Disc won't be floating on the ground. They'll be staying on the ground. I mean, I don't give a damn. Just give, just fix the damn game. Just fix it. Just fucking fix it. And it's like, ugh, man, I, I don't know if it's us. You know, like I don't know if it's just us that that are the problem because we do buy into it. And maybe we do need a boycott. Maybe Power World is gonna shake something up. And maybe that's why Power World is a thing, right? Someone was just like, I'm sick of this. I'm fucking, like, Pokemon sucks. And now here we are. I mean, I haven't played it yet, but, I mean, I'll probably like it if I do get the chance to play it. But I'm just saying, like, they need to freaking step up their game with, po with games like these releasing. And people are obviously buying into them and saying, like, hey, you're better. This is better than Pokemon. I don't acknowledge that because I have not played Pal World because right. I've had other things going on. Yeah, I'm not on. either here nor there. So yeah, no it. neither here or there regarding that fact. But we're just here to say that you've been in business for nearly 30 years. You know what to do. Do it. Just fucking listen to the community, man. Like, if you're selling to these people, wouldn't you want to hear their opinion and kind of take it into consideration? Just like ever so slightly. Just ever yes. so slightly. Yes, I agree. Thanks, man. I just, it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, but that's what but we that's, that's Yeah, yeah like, a, 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 no, I, literally, I was literally just like, but like, you know, we still love the game. Like, it's, because it's, it's, it's our child. Well, I, I mean, like, it's our childhood. It's, it's my it's, lifeblood. It, I wouldn't be here without Pokemon. I probably would be dead. I, I'd probably be playing Yu-Gi-Oh! being toxic as fuck, and I don't want to do that. Like, I love TCG very much. Like, I actually learned how to play Pokemon TCG because I was like, oh, this is actually, you know what? This is kind of cool. This, it's a very nice little, n nice game. It's like Magic the Gathering, just on a simpler version. I'm, I'm cool with that. And I just really, I really vibe with Pokemon. It's just, there, there's just something comforting about it. It's, it's definitely the nostalgia, it, but it's, 
I just, I, we're, we're in a new generation, man. And you got GTA looking like it's fucking real. You got Madden players looking like they're fucking real. Like, you gotta be kidding me. And you're not gonna make Pokemon look slightly, like, you're just not gonna fix the graphics. I get it. It's a small system. It's not, like, supposed to be, like, the highest definition. But you could fucking fix the frames per second. You could fix the glitches. You could fix the lag. Like, it's not, just do it. Just do it. I'm sorry. Just, just do it. <laughs> Yeah, like we said, just fix it. That's all you gotta do. Just fix it. 100%, man. Yeah. But all right, Ghost. Um, This is the last section of the of the podcast where I like to give the guest um, a chance to uh, just uh, give us the inside scoop on any potential plans that you uh, have for future runs or future streaming plans or just any goals you want to hit uh, within the next uh, year or two. So just... Uh, Whatever you got. If you want to yeah, spill man. the beans, spill the beans. Um, so actually something really cool that happened to me recently was um I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy, Max Amino. He does these ROM hacks I, where I, I um, think so. Yeah, he does ROM hacks where he calls them like Max Red, Max Crystal, Max Emerald was like a really popular game. And he just released this thing called Max Plat for like Max Maximum Platinum. And he took, like, it's it's basically, like, a bunch of Pokemon YouTubers and streamers that get to submit their their teams into the, for the game. And I, uh, some people are optional trainers, but I, I actually became a trainer that you have to fight at Lake uh, Verity, and that's super fucking cool. So I'm, Damn, I'm I've been congrats. trying to, thanks, man. I'm never going to get to me. I fucking suck at the game. It's so hard. <laughs> it's, like, so ridiculously hard. I can send you the ROM if you want, just to see what it's like, but, um. Damn it's the if you're hardcore nuzlocking it you're not getting far like if you're just playing the game for sure like by all means play the game do a playthrough see what it's like it's super cool you get to see like small Ann in there uh p chow's in there uh moxie from like moxie ttv no ease just the uh, m-o-x-i um people like that are in there and it's like super fucking cool cool and uh i hopefully one day i'll beat that but we're definitely evolutions nuzlocke is like the main focus right now i'm hoping to beat this i am super excited about it we're gonna get that uh emerald no l and try to finish a soul link man other than that we got a bunch of there's a lot of rom hacks people want me to play so we'll see what those lead to uh but i don't know any other goals really i i mean obviously just grow the community as much as possible make sure every like people who come in are are, are a vibe because like we're obviously chaotic like you, like you've seen some of the clips where i kind of yeah. freak out but um, like I, it's I I, I want to build a community that like people who enjoy Pokemon are are willing to validate each other a little bit just because you know we can't always validate everybody at the same time, but you wanna you wanna make sure that it's um. I, I just want to build a community that's like super great and and positive and you know willing to troll but you know not go over the top and be like an absolute asshole because we don't like that that's that's never fun. Yeah, I fully agree with you on that. I fully really agree. Yeah, I fully agree with you on that. I mean, that's so that's always been my goal. Just you know, build a build a good community. Just have people have their backs. I mean, I mean, I got like a couple of friends right now that are going through some uh going through some weird some bad times right now, and I'm just doing what I can to positively reassure them that um uh you know I'm I got your back. I mean, we're here for you. So just you know feel free to reach out and just have just talk. Yeah, man. So it's it's really important too. And then like you know, chat like chatting with the like I because I see how you stream too, man. You're very like into your chat and it's like super cool. And like I love that about you. It's it's really it's 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 I I was almost said humbling, but it's like it's wholesome. It's just a wholesome love and like you can just feel it off of people. And like that's that's I I feel like you have a similar goal, like you said, a similar goal with that where we just 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 a wholesome community that's ready for some fun, some Pokemon, and picking each other up when we're down. I don't know, man. I try to be as real as I can be. I mean, yes, I may dress too, like, I probably, I probably dress like I would never dress in real life, but I'm still the same guy. <laughs> Zach, dude, oh my god, that's, like, my biggest thing. People are just like, oh, you're so hype on stream, you're probably, what are you talking about? Literally, fucking meet me in the Discord, dog. Like, I'm the exact same way. Like, I'm always, I'm always talking like this. I'm, like, even at work, dude, I do, like, maintenance for work, and I'm just like, yo, how's it going? Like, how are you today? Like, always trying to be as positive as possible. It's like, and I feel like that sucks when people don't think that, like, it's the real you. People think it's, like, an act, and it's like, ah, whatever. You know what? Yeah, I feel that's, that. That's your, that's your loss if you feel that way, I guess. Yeah, I can understand that. Yeah. 
But, but yeah, uh, my future plans, um, next week I'm going to be taking part in this thing called the Sevy Boys uh, Bug Catching Contest. It's going to be a bunch of uh, my friends and I uh, going around and catching as many shiny bug type Pokemon as possible. We're going to be, you know, there's goals and whatnot. There's uh, there's prizes involved. And oh, uh, just get, yeah, getting down into that. My first shiny hunting event 2024. Um, I do plan to, I am planning, I am hosting a 24-hour stream on the, on the, hold on, was it the second or the? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be hosting a 24-hour stream starting 10 a.m. Eastern on the 2nd of March and going into the next day, obviously. So nice. I got that planned. And hopefully the week after that, I'm going to be partaking in my first ever Soul Link. Oh, God. What game? Um, Black 2, White 2. Nice, man. That's super exciting. Oh, yeah. God. And we are randomizing it. Oh, God. <laughs> I won't I think say playing who, the base game is tough, but randomized. I won't, I won't cool. say who it is yet, but I am saying I am pairing up with one of my fellow team yellers. That's that all I'll say. Good. Heck yeah, man. That's all I'm That's saying. I am dope. pairing up with my one of my potential team yellers. Um outside of outside of that, um I wanna like I said, like I've said before, I wanna try to be more social be more social on the on the socials because I'm still kind of an introvert when it comes to that. Um, I want, I still want to, um, I want to continue on with these podcasts. I want to, you know, finish season three with, and season four with 10 episodes each. That's, that's the overall goal for those. Um, anything else? Um, I want to, like, I honestly want to pair up with one of the bigger name YouTubers for something, whether it's like, I partake in like one of those like purple clip videos where the last person to do this um wins yeah. and i and i just even if i lose i just want to partake in a video like that but um still at the end of the day i just want to continue to share my love of pokemon with everybody and just you know be who i am i mean like i mean i wouldn't be where i am without the community okay. without pokemon i wouldn't be here without any of that so still i gotta i gotta pay back my dues heck yeah man i feel that do you have any plans to do like a full series nuzlocke at all or um, you mean like starting in one region, then just doing continuing on forward? Yep. Um, not at the moment. Um, but that is something to think about. Because, but I well, I'm technically am summer. doing that with my Dark Lock series, but I've just kind of gone in reverse chronological order. Right. No, that makes sense. I, 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 I was planning to do something probably over the summer for that because I, I want to do, uh, I want to do something like that because I feel like I've never played like the base game. I mean, I've obviously like I played Emerald as a Nuzlocke, but um, I, I feel like it'd be really fun to to ban your, <laughs> ban your E four team and then keep going. And if you if you reset, you got to start over. So that's something that, that'd be really interesting to me. Yeah, I can understand that. All right, so before we uh, kick off here, um, my rule is the guest chooses the raid. So who can use oh, some Poke Nerds Inc. Inc. Uh, raid love today? Oh crap! All right, hold on here. Yeah, um, you can. Yeah, you can choose anybody. Doesn't matter what they're streaming. Doesn't matter who they are. You choose the raid. Uh we could go to. There's this there's this guy who I really like who's doing a subathon if you're interested. And what's his name? His name? Me, me Matt <laughs> with an underscore <laughs> at the end of it. Uh, could you put his name in chat so I can uh, copy and paste it? Yeah, one thousand percent. No, there we go. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this. I'm not familiar with this individual. Oh, he's super sweet. He's a, he's a really good guy. He's really wholesome. I like him. He might be a little tired because he's been going for eleven days, but. Oh, wait, 11 days? Yeah. Wait, 11 days straight, or...? No, he is sleeping at some point, but... <laughs> but he's oh, on, like... Mo no, but he's on, like... He's like on, a... like, an uncapped subathon? Yeah, it's just keeps going. I see, gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha completely. Okay, so, um... So I'll say this, I'll say this a few times, so... If you are subscribed to the Poke Network, you can use exclamation point nerds as your raid message. If you are not subbed to the channel, um, regardless if you're following or not, you can use exclamation point rate exclamation point nerds two as your as your raid message. Please copy and paste it if you guys can. And uh, before we go, guys, um, I just want to again thank you, Ghost, for taking part in the podcast and again taking the time out of your day to join me and letting me pick your brain on what makes you the pokey nerd you are. 
Thanks, man. No, seriously, thank you for having me out here. I really appreciate uh, I, the opportunity, dude. I was super fucking nervous. You made the super chill, so thank you for for at least calming my nerves. I really do appreciate that, and I'm super yeah, no problem, man. here. No problem. All right, so I'm going to start the raid, and uh, how do you normally end the stream? What's your outro like? Uh, like I don't know. I, I guess I'm just like... Guys, remember to do the blah, 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 blah. and until then, my friends, I'll catch you all again. Peace. I guess that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I end the stream by saying, stay safe, stay strong, stay tuned for my Pokemon exclusive content, and as always, this has been the Top Goon, your man Spence. Beast out! I'll see you in the raid. Y'all have a great day or night, you nerds. Then I cover my camera with my hand. Nice man. Well, how do I, you you time it on me? Yeah. Uh, well, before that, um. So, as usual, in honor of the True Turbo, I end the podcast with saying, stay safe, stay rocking, stay true to yourself. I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks with a new podcast, but until the meantime, I hope you guys have had a great day. Uh, happy Super Bowl Sunday, and we'll see you all again on the other Twitchverse. All right, you ready? Sounds good. Yep, One, ready, sir. Two, three. Later, y'all. Oh, peace.